I like your shelves behind you. Thank you. Yeah, you're still working on that. You're spoiled. <laughs> hey, are we live? I don't know. Okay, we are now. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Anybody in the house? Hello, hello. Say hello, hello. Oh, I see. Um, my comments not coming up. Okay, I see Jim Wrencherman. He's a Canadian. It's actually my sister. Oh, <laughs> that's my sister. Um, she's in Canada. Lisa, tell them where you're where she, where you're at. This is the girl I was telling you that I do, and she's in Canada. We have sales together. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. Hey, Chris. Leanne, hello, hello. Y'all coming for the sale or the chat afterwards? Hi, Shannon. <laughs> Hi, Mama. That's my mommy. Your mommy's in and my sister's in. Who you bringing? Who you bringing to the board, uh, <laughs> Martha? One, one, of, one of mine is dead and the other one I don't care. So. <laughs> <laughs> She's in Nelson, B.C. Ah. Tell me you should visit. She just moved there. Oh, okay. So, yeah, and the borders are closed. So we can't go right now. And I got to renew my passport. You have to have a passport for Canada? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm old. You used to just sign the little piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> yep. I'm happy Hello, Debbie. Hi, Debbie. I missed uh, Debbie's and Christine's uh, bling sale. Were you guys there? Yeah. I I came in at and part of it anyways in the middle of it. I kept taking screenshots because I wanted to buy some things hoping that maybe they didn't go, you know, when they called uh -huh. them. I think everything went. <laughs> hi, <laughs> Tiffany. Hi, hi, hi Michelle. Is Tiffany um, BBB? Yes. Uh, and Miss Maria. Call her BBB. <laughs> Why do I call her? I think I called her Brit. It's Tiffany? Oh, Brittany. 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 Okay. Brittany. Okay. Brain. Uh -oh. Brain freezing. I have to go no. back and modify some messages. No, <laughs> no it was me. My mind just, I was, I was thinking Brittany and it came out Tiffany. Tiffany must be thinking about me. Aw. Christina, where are you? She's asking. I am in Manitoba. <clears throat> Portage La Prairie, Manitoba. And now Brittany's laughing at me. <laughs> well, that's something easy to remember. It's really B B B B. She's a four B. She's <laughs> a B B T. <laughs> Did y'all see her mama roller skating? No. no. That woman was a ma drum major. At, you know, she twirls and roller skates. Uh oh, the trolls. Brittany's got a, a video of it. It's cool. You have Ooh, to go check it. I just went Debbie? to the doctor with her hubby. Yeah, here Debbie trolls are out. Uh oh, Canadian trolls are oh flipping in. Do we have any moderators in the house? <laughs> Mar Martha's in here. Uh, I'm gonna go visit your sister. Where is she? She's in Nelson. Nelson, BC. What's yeah, take her to some thrift stores. She loves doing that. Yeah. She's yeah, you gonna, what are you looking for? I'll start looking. You're gonna have to mod somebody because yeah, I'm doing. I it. don't think I can do it through my phone very well. Uh, Debbie I'm fast here. when I'm in the chat, but um, oh, maybe De um, are you staying long, Debbie? Hi, Hi, precious. Look, precious is in the house. Hi, <laughs> she's my precious. <laughs> Uh, uh, Debbie said she'll try to be here for a while. Our, our Vagabond travels. Yeah, I have. Okay, let me get Debbie one. Okay. Maria says she'll help too if you want. What's that? Okay. I think I made four. I made Joanne one and, and Debbie one. Maria's one. Let's see some trolls. Okay, if any trolls come, let's see who's the fastest 
troll spotter. I mean, my sister won, but she Kill. probably won't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Martha, I was trying to tell my mom about the Kirsten Dunst thing. Oh, yeah? I'm like, you'll have to come see Martha. She knows Kirsten Dunst or her husband's grandmother. She has a store and Martha shops yeah. there. And what town is that in, Martha? Uh, it's right outside of Dallas. Um, I can't remember if it's Enos or I can't remember. It's the it's the Ivy Cottage. Cool. Hi, Jeannie. Sue, I wanted you to email me and let me know when you can come on on a Friday night. Hi, Sue. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Sue. Sue's going to be our commentator one night. I just I want to hear her live. <laughs> Oh my goodness, she is so funny. She's a Raggedy Ann troll. <laughs> That's okay, I like Raggedy Ann. Troll away. Oh, Chris lives near Enos. Chris what? Um, Chris says, I live right near Enos. Oh, Enos. Oh, I have family that live there. Well, Chris, let's look at the, the Ivy Cottage. That's, mm. that's where it, what it's called. Do you watch her movies? Do I watch Chris, uh, Kirsten Dunst's movies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of them. Yeah. I, I like watching his movies more. What all <laughs> the <laughs> um, um, Have you seen Date Night? Mm -hmm. Okay. The cop that lives next door. Uh -huh. That's him. Okay. <laughs> yep. Smaller. He played in Friday Night Lights. Yeah, oh, he yeah. started that. Right. And he was in Battleship. Oh, I good. Like, I Friday Night Night Lights, but my mom bought the DVD series, so I, I should try it. It's older now. <clears throat> Yeah, Sue, I want to oh, see your I want to do a challenge, Martha. You know how everybody does a challenge? I want to do a challenge. Show us your collection. I want to challenge them to come clean my house or do my dishes yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, if you find those challengers, I'm, I'll, I'll take them on. <laughs> to bring That's them where in. the trolls come into play. <laughs> <laughs> now, I want to do a challenge of a... a or a collab. It's a collab, not a challenge. A collab of... Um, Everybody showing their collection, doing a video of showing their collection. Cool. I can just use the same one I already did. <laughs> no, you have to get all your stuff out and do it all, not that little bit stuff you have. You have a heck of a lot more than that. Oh, no. You have a lot of shelves. I bet you have them all full. Yeah, I want to come over and see this Sunday. Go shopping. There's, there's some. Oh, my God. Room. You're not selling those right there. See that right there behind your head? I want those. What is which, it, grapes? Which one? The grapes. Oh, they're just sitting there. <laughs> they're just sitting there. That's a new collection I started. <laughs> Tammy, you probably collect every single thing that's on this shelf. <laughs> do, do you see the blue things over my Are head? those the Bluebird of Happiness? Are those fairy lamps? No, they're salt and pepper shakers, but they match that, salt, that fairy lamp you sold with the strawberries on it. Oh. They match that. Wow. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> we all got quiet. <laughs> Maria, well, we all reading at the same time. Tammy, do you have your Tam Tam juice? No, I have wine tonight. Okay, me With too. My face on it. Cheers. See my big lip. Cheers. Is oh, there in that, Martha. <laughs> oh, we know it's not uh, just Sprite. <laughs> I'm all alone, so I had to bring two. <laughs> Is what, it, what kind of wine are you drinking? Cracker. What is that? Uh, Jacob's Creek Moscato. Moscato. Yes, I'm not a big oh, wine drinker, but that's what they serve at Olive Garden. No, not Olive Garden. Outback Steakhouse. The Moscato. The, Moscato. the Jacob's Creek. Oh, oh Jacob's so Creek. good. Is it Canadian? I have no idea. Oh, it can't be. 
They quit selling it at uh, Australia. Specs, so. Oh. See, Maria is going to do that. It, Wait, it's Maria? Australian. <laughs> Maria, you're going to do the challenge of cleaning house or the collection. <laughs> Does everybody here have a collection? Because if we do, if y'all do, I'm going to, I'm going to do that. I'm going to set up a challenge. I got a collection of a bunch of stuff that I should probably have. Mm -hmm. Have you filmed for Beth's collab yet? No, I. Hi, New I, I feel like what you know I might have two things under ten dollars I'm thinking how am I that's not a video that's two things hi Debbie so slow motion <laughs> um, so cat. just go go to Goodwill on, on Monday that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> uh, Joanne says what is a collection what does a collection mean well, I don't know. I think I've, I've abused that word. I don't know. <laughs> it's that stuff you put in your booth, Joanne. It's a booth. <laughs> and, and, oh, what is a, this was another thing. What does a collection, how many, how many consist of a collection? That's one question I had asked. Is it two? Does it have to be five? Does it have to be 10? What consists of a collection? How much do you have to know about that item for it to be considered a collection? Oh, what if I have a hundred of this piece of collection and I know nothing about it? I just buy it because I like it. I got those things from Debbie's uh, Our Vagabond. Debbie, I got well, three box, three or more. Oh, look at them. They said three or more. Look, it, they're all, all saying the same thing. Damn, y'all know what? Challenge. I have probably over a hundred collections in. <laughs> I got lots of three or more things <laughs> in a in a suit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gee, bookends are almost a collection. So Debbie, if you had that ten dollar challenge, how many items are in your challenge? How many items did you get for ten? Because I feel like I'm not going to get enough. How about if I got a bunch of stuff? I I do get a big slew of stuff and I paid nothing for it. That was under $10. <laughs> Hi, Helen. <laughs> Picasso cat's here. Hello. I see a Jenny said hi. To her, is it Helen it. Booty? Oh, there she is. is that what it, it is? That her last name? Yes. Who? Helen, Helen Booty. Booty. <laughs> oh, is she here? I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, she's here. Oh, no, she's in New England thrifter now, isn't she? Yeah, but she got tired of us calling her Helen Booty. I like that name. I like calling you Miss Helen Booty. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot you changed it. Oh, Debbie got like 20 things at a half price estate sale. Debbie, I Marco Polo'd you, but um, I totally forgot about Marco Polo. Um, oh, I have to go look. That's cool. Marco Cat. Do you guys do a lot of Marco Polo? Oh no! I'm, I was I was we were talking about uh, mm -hmm. what Kathy got the, her the camera she got. Wait, I cheated on what? What did I cheat on? <laughs> what did I cheat on? I don't know. Martha, you oh, have everything that I got free is it that? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, Joanne! That's a big mall. You, like her booth is as big as Kmart or like the mall she's in? The mall she's in. But I would believe right. her booth would be but as she covered as half the mall. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay, then I'll have to do the challenge on that, but I'm not ready if I do. I just got it yesterday. I know it's mostly Christmas stuff. The cat did a real good job with you guys the other night. It was nice to see a, her like a Face to the name, Picasso cat. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought that too. I think I even put that in the chat. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, we, uh, I don't. It's harder to uh, message people in here. Like Sue, she's not on Instagram. She won't follow us on Instagram because she's got to stay off social media. But I told her she needs to go under Raggedy Ann. Name yourself Raggedy Ann and be our friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Well, she can't now because you done outed her. <laughs> You'll have to go with Andy now. Hi, Angela. Hi, Hi Angela. Angela. <laughs> yes. Kathy was like a pro, Jeannie. You're right. Helen says she can fill a wall at Kmart. I believe it. Uh huh. Angela, how's your hand? She, oh, she broke a mirror and cut herself. Well, that's seven years bad luck, starting with her hand. No, <laughs> Not that's what I told her. I hope she don't end up with that seven year luck thing. Nah. Oh, it's not true. It's just a thing. Hi, Terry. Of course, I had seven years of bad luck. I didn't break any mirror. <laughs> Has anybody else noticed that how fast 2021 is moving? I mean, after 2020 just drug by, it's already the middle of June, practically. Yeah. yeah it's, it's oh, no, the hand sanitizer, I bet. Debbie, I have one too. Um, my grandmother made me one and uh, it's on my Instagram, a picture of me and my grandmother and the Raggedy Ann doll that she made me. And it's um, 40 something years old, but. Angela saying that Christy said that it, it's only bad luck if her reflection was in the mirror at the time that it broke. That's really. That makes sense. I like that. I like that. I never heard that. That's, that makes you safer. And, and if and if it was in the mirror, then you can just say the opposite. Exactly. It's only <laughs> you're not in it. Oh, 116. Leanne wants to know if this is a sale. Yes. Is it? Are you ready? We're trying to kind of waiting for people to get in here and, and catching up with people. Debbie, are you all packed yeah. up and ready to move? Yeah. Um, well, definitely it's my, Sue, it's definitely my uh, doll that my grandmother made me because that's what started me on the collection was that doll because I did my daughter's room in it. But um, probably the next one would be my lunchbox because I had one as a kid and I picked up another one. And then I just love this thing. I never had it before. It's a, it's a metal car. I, I just think it's super cool. Leanne, you rebel. Yeah. Thanks, Leanne. And what? I said Leanne's a rebel. She stayed up past her bedtime. <laughs> We're going to really stay up late past our bedtime tonight. Oh. Debbie, now we need wood to knock on. <laughs> Am I going first? Apparently. <laughs> I just click this wall and it, that's what comes up. Works for me. <laughs> okay. I have this, this cruel, cruel little girl churning butter with her long hair. The ponytail is actually 3D, but this is behind glass. Um, if you can tell, it's kind of 3D. Look at her skirt, all the little patterns in there, and she's on a stool. So it's in a wood frame glass. It's an um, 8 by uh, 6 size ready to hang with a little now the frame itself is probably not the best condition because it's kind of worn there got a nick here but it's like a 3d frame it's kind of thick but she's a cute little girl now i didn't know this I, this is the only one i've ever seen and i had one like this before and i had sewed it but um someone on instagram had or was it on Facebook? Facebook had four of the different designs of these little girls doing something. And I was like, Ooh, I like that. I wouldn't mind having that whole set, but I've never seen the other three before. But this picture frame, little girl cruel will be $8 and it's number three. Hi, LJ. Hi, butterfly nurse and cricket. Hi, you guys. Hi, hey, butterfly nurse. <laughs> Do you see that? Joanne says, Christina looks like she's poking out of Martha's shelves. Look at it. Look at the picture. <laughs> what are you doing up on top of my shelves? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I got I to gotta change y'all, don't I? 
Are we oh, doing one at out of the shelves? <laughs> are we doing one at a time? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Mr. L. Page. Hi, Mr. L. Page. Randy. I progress up many colors. They got their package from me. Great. That always worries me. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. Okay, my first item tonight are these little owl salt and pepper shakers. And they're wearing flowers, very tropical, really cute. The yellow is a nice bright yellow. They come with their original stoppers, made in Taiwan. And they're $12, letter B. Oh, I'm going to be flagging tonight, aren't I? <laughs> oh, good evening, everybody. <laughs> I am going to start with a poodle, a little miniature poodle planter. He's just sitting there thinking. Got a little bit of green on his top knot and fur. Just a little guy. And this little guy, this little miniature poodle planter is $5 number 70. $5 number 70 if you're interested. He's Thank cute. You. He's cute. He's cute. He's cute. Oh. And hi, Julia. Before she turns me. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Julia. I'm Mary. Hi, Mary. Mary. Hi, Terry. Hi, Terry. Hey, I got Terry earlier, so. Oh. <laughs> I got her now. Okay. <laughs> I have these, uh, what do you call a little copper, copper uh, molds, copper molds. There's a free leaf clover, a little bunny, and a little grape set. That you would hang on your wall. It has a little hooks on them. They're like three inches. Yeah, three inches tall. Just little cute little kitchen designs, I guess. I guess you could actually make molds in them too. Cookie dough. And they're pretty, like an inch thick. Cute little designs to hang on your wall. You'd hang, what, would hang them all like this? I don't know if there was supposed to be more because it looks like. It looks like these were uh, holiday themes, and then there's grapes. I don't know. But this little cute set is going to be $8, and it's number 16. Terry's asking Randy if there'll be any wrestling. What? Yeah. Where you been wrestling at, boy? Hmm. And the next item I have for sale is this mini cobalt blue glass bunny on a nest. It's just tiny, tiny. I didn't measure it. Like two and a half by two and a half. Yes. About this big. That cobalt is beautiful. Where's Angela? About this big. About this big. <laughs> About this big. There's no chips or cracks. And he wants to bounce right into your life. It's $15 letter K. And my, my prices are in Canadian, so that would be just over $12 US. Oh, I guess... If y'all don't know, she's shipping from um, Canada, and she is doing the dollars in Canada. Yeah, so it's about twelve U.S. And I was, I meant to mention that, I if anyone wants, if they purchase anything from me tonight, feel free to let me know in the chat or by email right after the sale. If you want your box to be held for a sale or two, I'm okay with that. And me and Martha are shipping from Texas. 
Oh, and, and that makes me think when she says that, um, if anyone is here tonight and purchased something from my sale last night, um, just please let me know by email if you would like um, separate shipping or shipping combined, if you want your invoices separately or if you want them combined for whatever reasons you may have. I don't know, but I okay, don't want just wait just before you say something i had a sale on wednesday i had a sale with someone on thursday and then tonight i'm not shipping any of them i mean i'm not invoicing any of them until tomorrow and i'm going to combine them all but if you don't want them combined let me know but I tomorrow you're them. having like three more sales right <laughs> yeah <laughs> now i'm taking a break after this <laughs> my next one ain't until wednesday <laughs> i found an or a jiffy frame for the um you know we find all those little embroidery kits and stuff the vintage ones and so this is one of the frames that they put out for framing them with this is a four by five it is a hardwood frame still in its plastic cellophane you can see in the back the examples you can do it this way or this way but anyway it's a jiffy frame it's wood it's eight dollars and it's number 71 if you need a four by five frame to frame your jiffy embroidery needlework products <laughs> to to frame your jiffy lube is that what you said <laughs> no, your jiffy embroidery you know you know exactly what i'm talking about Missy. <laughs> stop being a sassy pants <laughs> hi Tina. I thought Jiffy was like popcorn, you know, over the campfire. Well, there's you know, that. if you want to frame it, it's good. And if you need the tires fixed, there's that Jiffy lube. <laughs> I don't go anywhere to oh, get no oil. fixed. Oil. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Martha's husband does everything. That's right. <laughs> okay, next I have up is this, this mouse. Can y'all tell what he is? Hearing holder. Huh? an earring holder yeah and he look he's he's got one where is it right now this one was on here for whatever reason it's an apple an upside down apple but it's a little mouse i thought he was so cute it's go tone it's got some weight to it too little go tone mouse earring earring holder see his whiskers stand out his beaded eyes really cute he's a you know, I sat there and measured everything, but I don't have this one written down. He's five and a half inches tall. It's eight dollars and it's number seven. And to you. Oh, sorry. I think Julia was asking me a question, but I'm searching in the chat. Okay. The next item I have is I found this Walt Disney Company glass. It's not too, too big. It's about four and a half inches tall. And it's got Mickey and Minnie and Donald. It's cute and retro. And then I kind of found these two little bobbleheads to go with it. Little Mickey and Minnie. And they can be yours for twelve dollars Canadian. Letter C, and that's about ten U.S. dollars. Oh, it's me. It's me, Ooh. Tammy. Did you see? Um miss joanne for number seven. Oh no i didn't thank you miss joanne i have a bag of bracelets of bangle bracelets there are 23 bracelets in this bag there are some enamel bangles there is a stretch enamel bow bracelet. There are these really cute ones with these like painted beads on them. 
if I could get these bad boys over my fat hand, I would have kept them. Because they're cute. We've got three green ones. They're like a minty green. This silver one has writing on it. Faith, love, hope, that sort of thing. It's not, you know, real silver. And it stretches. It's a metal stretch. We've got three, two gold and one semi-gold tone. It's more like a coppery color. This one is a two-tone enamel with a turquoise and a navy blue with some little um, rhinestone pieces in between. This one looks like some sort of hammered copper. This is not a complete bangle. It's got a cross on this end and a heart on this end with some little, you know, rhinestone-y looking stones. And it's got this other little piece on it, so I think it must have had something else that came off. Then we've got these three, they're gold, three gold ones. And then this silver crusted sparkle one. So there's 23 of them all together. Oh wait, no, excuse me. Here's another one of these. <laughs> and then two wooden ones. Well, they're plastic, but they have a wood tone. And they all show some little signs of wear on them. Nothing major. And the stretch is still decent on them. But for all 23 of the bangles, it's $10 number 60. That's like less than 50 cents a bracelet. So $10 number 60. If you're interested in this big lot of bracelets that I'm dropping everywhere now. Good night, Sasha. I love you. My little girl. She just finished all her exams this week. It was a rough week. I bet. Oh, good for her. Next up, I have this tiger. Too bad, tiger. Um, what's the name? Tiger Lily? Um, Timeless Treasures? Yeah. Too bad she's not here. She might like that. It's a tiger wall pocket. Ain't it cute? It is. It would be good for tiger. I've never seen one of these before. But he's he's got a little hairy green mane. But it, it's a little wall pocket. It's a mm, six inches tall and four inches wide at the widest. Really cute orange. But I think he's cute. I couldn't find a maker on him, you know, uh, or what year he came from. Somebody that one, I only saw it on there twice, and one person said they think it's from Taiwan. So it has the tiger claw in the back. Is that what that is? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. Uh huh. <laughs> I think he's really cute. Um, he is $14. And oh, number 14. Little tiger wall pockets. I want to see somebody that has a collection of wall pockets. Julia, I hope you have a wonderful vacation with your family. Oh, have fun. Yeah, just take some time off and enjoy it. Life's too short. The next item I have, oh, I just love this. It is made in Stratton, England. It has a registered number 954048. And it's one of those lipstick holders with the mirror. And it's really pretty and it's just vibrant. And I, 
has like a starburst. And the mirror's in good shape and it's intact. And then the made in England and the registered numbers on the inside there. And if you're interested, it is letter G for $15 Canadian, which is about 13 US dollars. And it's a real rich navy color. And that's my number. Okay. All right. I have a pink refrigerator dish. It's a lustra wear. It's a very pretty, uh, like a carnation pink. And it is plastic. So retro Tupperware, so to speak, guys. It's in pretty good shape. It has one little bobo hair on its corner and maybe a little scuffing on its lid. But um, let's be real. Who's going to use it to store food in? We're going to put cotton balls or Q-tips or, you know, some other little knick-knack, something like that in it. If you're interested in it, though, it is $5, number 63, for the vintage Lustro Wear refrigerator dish in pink. Thank you much. <laughs> okay. Night, Kathy. Night, Kathy. I have David's face on a mug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably not watching the chat, so it's safe to say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. he heard me. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. and if that's his face i should be doing a throw down on it <laughs> but it's a shaving mug or or okay i've heard it being a shaving mug or it's for the man who has a mustache drinks it so their hair won't get in the drink so it's for mustaches men with mustaches to drink out of or i've heard of it being a like shaving putting the shaving cream in there somehow i don't know i don't know this was before my time so but he's super cute i have some other another one that's real dressy so and like girly like pinks mm. and purples on it so i can't see a man drinking out of that one really <laughs> but he's cute he got big old bug eyes and this is what the inside looks like there's nothing on the back side <clears throat> i know mr l page what? It, what do you say? Serena on Bewitched. Who guessed the singer and when they to enjoy the hit tune? If what it, was it? What was, it, was the question? <laughs> what was the question? I missed it. I missed it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to be reading the chat to me while I'm talking. I didn't read the other question. I read that hint and I knew who, oh. what it was, or at least I thought I knew what it was. Well, here's... Hint Not a shaving mug, it's a mustache coffee mug. So it is for the uh, mustaches, so they don't get their mustache in it. Yes, Martha, you're right. <laughs> it's going to be $12, number nine. And Hey, my daughter's middle name is Serena, after Serena from Bewitched. Really? Mm -hmm. You really like that show. <laughs> I, did. I always watch that, too. The next item I have is this Campbell soup mug with the cute little boy and the girl having some tomato soup. Mm -mm, good. And there's actually some directions on the side, just right for hot or cold soup. Excellent for refrigerator storage when covered with plastic wrap and it's microwavable. It's 14 fluid ounces. And on the bottom it says 1997, a trademark license by Campbell Soup Company by Westwood. And if you're looking for some mm -mm good soup, letter P, $12 Canadian. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, good. My <laughs> The Campbell Soup Kids. Yummy. Okay. I have a great deal on a Fenton custard bell tonight. It is hand painted, the pale yellow. It's in great condition. And see inside there were hand painted. Doesn't have a date, but it rings as it should. And for this Fenton Bell, it is ten dollars number ninety-seven for the Fenton custard glass not custard, yeah, it's custard glass. Custard glass bell, but it, it does not glow, so. If it glowed, I'd probably keep it. <laughs> Mary's cat is named Tabitha. Next I have up is this For your tree, stand. mug tree stand. You know, I love these. I have one that I use in my kitchen. This one holds four mugs. It's uh, 11 inches tall. It's green. That, um, mm, like a, I don't know, a mossy green. A brighter green, not avocado green. But a cute little mug stand. Holds four mugs. It is $16 and it's number eight. I get closer and my light gets darker. <laughs> well, it is after dark. <laughs> okay, the next item I have are these. I hope they don't fall out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a set of six with an extra little scooper up here. They they're kind of like stainless, but I don't know. They're not made of stainless. They're not marked stainless. It says that they're topped with a, a Brazil um, semi-precious stone. And the handles are kind of twisted a bit. I don't know if they're for desserts or tea or fancy fancy. I'm not sure. On the back of the box, it says Estelo Industria Brasilia. Brazil, Brasilia. No, nope, I can't say that. Too much wine. Maybe you can. <laughs> so I think they're from the 1970s when I looked them up online. And they're still in their original box. Really cute. And they're 20 Canadian, letter M. And that's around 17 US. I see a Gabriella, Gabri Gabrielicious is here. Glad Hi, Gabby. Woo woo. All righty. I have a, let me see, maybe over here. Well, it's a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> it's a penguin. He's a crystal penguin. Um, I believe he is like, uh, I don't know if he's Swarovski or what he is. He, he doesn't have a sticker of any sort. He's got his little penguin wings. Penguins don't fly, right? Floppers? <laughs> I don't know. He's really cute. He's all faceted and stuff. When you look through him, it makes a prism. And it's kind of like, was it Green Acres or Family Affair? When they would do the Family Affair and they do that thing and all the beads would make a prism. So mm -hmm. It's really cool. <laughs> I like him. He's got all of his parts that he's supposed to have. He's $10, number 66, for the Crystal Penguin. 
think his name is Pablo. Pab Pablo, the penguin. <laughs> flippers are for swimming, she said. Flippers, are, so they're flippers? Yeah, they're not, they're flippers. not for flying, they're not for swimming. Wings. Okay, see? <laughs> Okay, next I have up is, this was a debate on what these are exactly are. They're angels, I think, right? Yeah. Do they look like angels? Yeah. Uh, well, angel fish, maybe. Angel fish? <laughs> I mean, yeah. it, it's hard to say. I don't know. But they have little wings and... I don't know. No arms. They're wearing a dress. Their arms are tacked down in, inside their dresses, but they're salt and pepper shakers. And, yep, the same colors. And they're uh, from Japan. Wait. No, you know, Taiwan. they look kind of like that girl in Star Wars that was always wearing the uh, big thing behind her head. Oh, yeah, yeah. Padme. Taiwan. Japan. I cannot see. <laughs> so they have their original stoppers from Japan. They're uh, about three inches tall. And the set's going to be $10. Uh, number 10. I did that twice so far. <laughs> yeah, that's keeping it easy for you. <laughs> Okay. The next item I have, I love enamelware. I'm so crazy about enamelware. Did you uh did you get um Brittany for M? Hmm? Yeah. Right, Brittany. Oh, thanks, Britt. I will put her down for M. My mom. Right, Joanne, I got you for 10 too. Thank, Thank you. you. So I know from Canada, you're probably only wanting smaller boxes. So I chose a piece of enamelware um, that's smaller. I have lots. If anyone's interested in enamelware, let me know in the chat and then I can show some other pieces. But this is just a nice little, um, I guess it's like a shallow bowl with the little fishy on it. Really cute for summer. The print on the back says that it's a peacock print made in China, and it says 18 centimeters. And it looks to be in pretty darn good shape. <laughs> and I, I like to stick like a little 3M sticker on the back and then kind of hang it up on a wall. So you could put this in your bathroom if you want it or at your cabin or anywhere that you'd like to see this little fish. Fun swimming. And it's six dollars Canadian. Oh. <laughs> letter I. Six dollars Canadian letter I, which is about five dollars US. If you want to take this little fish for home. There you go. That's my letter. Hi Nancy. Hi Tina. Hi, Hi Leanne. Leanne. Hi Nancy. <laughs> Um, I saw Debbie in the chat the other day. There we go. Nancy's got an update. Oh. I saw her. Well, it didn't seem like it was a week ago. It seemed like it was only three or four days, maybe. Yeah, I saw her in Gina and Caps. Yeah, where she said she was still in the hospital, but she was hanging on, right? Yeah. That it's okay. frustrating. Mm -hmm. oh. How's Nancy doing? Oh, I'm trying to figure it out. It's a sticker. I got a piece of sticker on here. I was trying to figure out what was wrong with this face. It had sticker residue. I didn't get all the way off. <laughs> I, I know. I know. So I have a lovely little porcelain vase from Japan. These sweet little purple flowers. I think they're like forget-me-nots, maybe. And the vase measures seven and a quarter inches. 
It has gold detailing around the top edge and the bottom edge. And it does have its made in Japan. I think that's what that one is. Oh, no. I'm looking at the wrong one. This is made in Taiwan. Sorry. This one's made in, <clears throat> excuse me, made in Taiwan. And it is $6, number 81, for the porcelain vase with the purple flowers. Thank you. Let's see. Any gamers out there? Old school gamer monopoly players. I got this mug. It's not old, but I, I liked it. It was cute. I had the older one and I was going to sell them together, but somebody wanted just that one. So. I end up selling it separate. Um, just the old Monopoly game. I just like the graphics on it. They're really cool. With mustache. I don't. <laughs> the new Monopoly have a mustache or something on there? Yeah. It does. Just didn't Mr. Moneybags have a mustache? A oh, white one, but it was white, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it's orange on the inside. I like the green, the orange. And this mug will be $8 and it's number 17. And Hi, Kat. There you go. Hi, Kat. How are you doing? Hi, Kat. Maria, I got you for 81. Thank you very much. Joanne says, Tammy, I'm going to put those on my microwave because they look like I do when I wake up. Cross from a pig, a primrose girl, and whatever her, whatever her name is in Star Wars. It's hilarious. <laughs> Whoa, she looks like all of those different people. Okay. <laughs> Just in the morning. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and Nancy got a shot in her hip today. She's not... It is to try and stop her spasms from numbering a trigger point. Well, that's good. That's really good for Nancy. Okay, the next item I have is a box full. Just kidding. There's just two pillowcases inside here. So they're heritage pillowcases. There's two white ones with hand embroidery. They're a full um standard size pillowcase haven't been out of the box they're not yellow or anything from being in the box for that long and they're letter d for 14 dollars canadian which is about 12 dollars us and it's two pillowcases And they have the, like a sunflower, well, just flowers, I guess. Maybe I'll take this plastic off. And I don't know if you're able to see them. They have some really pretty embroidery on them. And that's my item. Okay. All right, I have a 1940s vintage powder box. It is um, shiny and then it is like stippled around these edges on these stripes. Got little wooden feet and is also a music box. There's where the powder would have been. My grandmother had one of these. I was so obsessed by it. And on the top, it has a, uh, a button, I think you call it, that is, I think it's enamel with a transfer on it. But it definitely winds and plays, although I can, for the life of me, cannot figure out what the song is. And I usually can, but I'm stumped on this one, so it must be something that was popular at that time 
would have caught their attention. But the 1940s powder music box is $10. Number 84. Oops, almost dropped it. I don't know if I can play it, Gabrielle. I don't know if I should play it because of copyright stuff. So, if you just got to hear it, let me know and I'll make you a little video and email it to you. <clears throat> Pardon me, $10. Okay. Next I have is this little planner. It's a, a little over three inches wide and two and a half inches tall. It's a little cl cute. Clute. It's a little clute. It's a little cute. <laughs> Like, I only had half a glass of wine. Keep drinking. Uh, blue planner with one white flower on this side, and then blue, blue, another one on that side. But it's cute. I thought it was cute to sit it's in your really window. Pretty. And it is, it's a Japan. Mm, it's, Japan it's a great season. color. Mm, yeah. A nice blue. Mm. I mean, I don't even think that blue, I think it has more of a tint of green that I'm seeing on the screen than it. Because it's more blue, blue here. But it's a cute little planner. If y'all like succulents or air plants, and it's going to be eight dollars, number eighteen. And Sabrina, uh, Katrina, what's your name? Christina. Do you have any sales you've had this week, lady? Take off the juice. <laughs> <laughs> Just. Have a few more drinks, Tommy. <laughs> It'll all work Thank out. You, Nancy, I'll make note of that. Appreciate it. What's up? Nancy says that the music box is actually 1930s. Thank you, Joanne. Yeah. And she you. helped me. I, I showed one the other day, too. I, I didn't, I mine just had a fancy button on the top. I thought maybe it was like a trinket dish. But Nancy, yeah, she said uh, 1930s, like powder, a powder thing. Cool. Hi, Nate. Hi, Thank sweet you. Nate. Good, because oh, I got good. something else she can help me with. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so the next item I have, I showed these at Cat and Gina sale, but I'm going to bring them out one more time to see if this audience is interested. But they're these cute little prints. And they're dated from 1956-57. Now that cat's cute. I yeah. love that cat. Yeah. <laughs> You're so He's cute. waiting on that mouse. <laughs> Tilt the doggy a little bit so the um, glare is off of it. The dog, the other one. There you go. There you go. There you go. Because I'm oh, trying to see what he's up. doing. Yeah, just do that. Oh. Yeah. Right he there. He's chewing a, chewing a he's shoe. Like, uh, He's chewing a shoe, and it looks like there's, like, stuffing coming out. Okay. <laughs> and this dog looks like my, my daughter's dog. I don't know that shoe, if it's one of those fancy slippers that had those feathers on them, you know? Uh-huh. The oh, boudoir yeah. slippers for your pinoir. Yeah. <laughs> and then the mouse, very westerny. Of course, the mouse is hiding inside there. But they're in there, I, I would assume they're original frames because they're pretty old. And they have like an older hanger. And I'm asking for $15 Canadian for the, the pair of them, which is about 12 US. Said, I want to say there was a name there. Was that R, Christina? It was R, yes. You, let's see. I know I just saw it. Yeah, Gabrielle. Gabrielle has picked it up. Okay, it says Donald Art Company. Number, there's an, from New York, and there's a number on them. You have Gabrielle, Gabrielle Lichus. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Gabby. All right, I picked up a piece of Pyrex, and I don't pick up Pyrex very often. 
It is the, I think it's like one and a half pints, the 441 Princess Bowl of the Spring Blossom Crazy Daisies. And it's in great shape. Nobody put this bad boy through the dishwasher. It looks good. It's a happy, happy little princess bolt. And it is $12, number 78, for the Pyrex. Crazy Daisy. It's part of the Spring Blossom collection. $12, number 78, for the Pyrex bolt. Okay. I have this trinket dish. It's, it's not glaze. I guess it's a, like a bis filling. So it has these roses on it. It's a very nice, very pretty little trinket box. It's a seven by three and a half. Now, you see the, the scallop edges. But... The issue with this is it has a repair. It's still cute and it's still workable. Workable? It's a repair. Workable. <laughs> <laughs> a good trinket dish to hold your glasses or your, your jewelry or whatever. But this is, I just thought this was really pretty. <clears throat> Uh, can we get it clear? I don't want to focus. Okay. So, but I'm only, because of the crack, I'm only going to do it for $6 and it's number two. And it can twerk your way all the way to your house. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy, you need some more Tam Tam juice. <laughs> I'm already not talking, right? <laughs> well, that's okay. <laughs> it's after hours. Y'all y'all are gonna figure out this is the way I talk all the time. <laughs> Sounds allergy. Hi kitchy cat. Hi kitchy cat. The next item I have is this Imperial Candle Wick Marmalade Jar. And it has the original spoon. spoon is the cup for the marmalade what do you call that ridge martha like, oh is that the beaded i was gonna say beaded yeah like the candle the candle wick or something i think they call that yeah when i looked it up it said imperial candle wick marmalade jar it actually was more pricey than I realized. Um, but I will be selling it for $18 Canadian, which is around 15 US for letter W. There's no chips or cracks and it's just tiny. Well, not tiny, but like five inches tall. really pretty and I just put a piece of fruit in there to kind of show how nice it would pick up the color and that's my item Leanne was saying that um, I should charge more for my powder music box <laughs> I'm trying to make deals tonight, but when, when I go to put it on eBay, it will definitely be go more up. than $10. Yeah. I, it's always more on eBay than it is on the live sale. So. Right. I have a ceramic pie server. It's, of course, vintage. That's what we sell. Um, I guess that's an apple on it. It makes sense, serving apple pie. It is Japan. It has a hole. 
I don't know how you would hang it, but it's got a haul. That's just like my little sticker thing. In great condition, no problems, no cracks, no major crazing. It's a lovely little ceramic pie server, and it's $10 number 90. $10 number 90 for the Japan ceramic pie server. Thank you. Whoops. <laughs> oh, hi, Emancipation. 300. Hi. Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hello. Michelle and um, oh, Christy's Vintage here. Viking came in. Hello, Vintage Viking Treasures. Where? Christy's here, too. Hi, yeah. Vintage Viking. Yeah, Christy's awfully late, too. She just popped in just a few minutes ago. She she probably probably been here and food you did or a frappuccino <laughs> or... Oh, look, Christina Taylor's here in the chat. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Christina Taylor. Hey, thanks for, thanks for stopping by. Anytime. <laughs> Next up, I have a pair of salt and pepper shaker owls. I think you had a pair like this, Christina, but uh, owls anyways. Yeah. They could be friends. Hooters. These are the blue blue hooters, and you got, I think yours were pink or white. Yeah. <laughs> Please Did don't say <laughs> What was that? Just the way they came, that came out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. Did I? I didn't do it. I do nothing. I admit nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> okay, Artie Johnson, what do you got? <laughs> You're gonna get my table to shaking with me giggling. Anyway, we got universe. <laughs> They're two and a half inches tall. These cute little owls, salt and pepper shakers. And they have their original stoppers. They're not super old, I don't think. I could I don't know. I couldn't find nothing on them. But they were cute. David found these. Mm. Uh, good job, Dave. Oh, like they're them. really good, then. They're really nice. I like that glaze on them. Yeah. They, they have like that gold, brushed gold. I'm going to drop them. $8 on their number 11. Will they be half price if you drop one? Yeah, did yeah. you want to drop them? Or? <laughs> I, I feel like need one. one. One's trying to fly away out of my hand. You're thinking of a drop of them? No, no. <laughs> Good choice, David. Oh, let's see. Oh, me again. Well, I'm going to do Martha's help, but oh, actually, stand by. Oh, my goodness. Do you need me to hold something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's like me trying to do my uh, my black light on her stuff because she don't have one. You're holding yeah, up I am put my black light on it. <laughs> what the heck? You know, just play some Jeopardy music for a minute. I was too involved in these hooters. Oh. <clears throat> You're too involved in hooters. What? I was too involved in your hooters. Look. <laughs> Quit looking at my hooters, girl. Stay off of Tammy's hooters, okay? Okay. <laughs> what I wanted to do was my first. Oh, Vintage and Vino are here. That's Tom and Hi, Jerry. Jerry. No, Tim and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. Tim and Jerry. Tim and Jerry. And <laughs> Uncle Andy. It's probably Jerry because Tim doesn't ever t come on. If it was Tom and Jerry, they should just call themselves Tom and Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so I wanted to do an offer up on this uh, Indiana Blue Carnival glass. I don't know if it's a fruit bowl, Martha. It's a compote. So you can put candy, fruit, you know, flowers, any kind of arrangement. Lots of M&Ms. Yes. So, so you're going to offer it, Christina? What are you going to start it at? Is this called a Canadian Blizzard? Oh, what? What did we say? Because it can't be a Texas throwdown. Oh, no, I, I didn't know you had one. What is it? What is it? What did we do last? We were, are you too drunk to remember what we did last <laughs> Girl, I don't remember yesterday, and I don't have to drink to not to remember. That's 
Again, that's why I have photo albums, tons of photo albums of my children. I'd forget I had children. <laughs> what did we do? I think we did something like a Canadian blizzard or something like that. Canadian yeah, something about the snow because y'all snow in the hottest. Yeah, y'all y'all weird that way. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cool right. though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if someone could type in the chat. I, I think if we I'm started, trying, I'm so doing it. Uh, um, did you do it more than Canadian? Okay. I'm I'm just waiting to know how much she's starting it. Starting that. Uh, fifteen Canadian. Okay. It's really beautiful, like a blue tint to it. What would you call those droppings down the side, Martha? I don't know. <laughs> well, it's really pretty. It has um, such a nice blue iridescent. Actually, when Emancipation said freeze, it makes me think it is kind of like a freeze. Like a decorative swag of freeze. So. It's about this big. Where's this that? Big. It's this big. <laughs> Turn it upside down and put it on your head. Oh my God. That's how big it is. That's how big it is. You can get anybody to do anything, can't you, Martha? <laughs> it's my secret superpower. <laughs> Gabrielle, Gabrielicious, what was your, oh, Canadian. Um, 15. Mountain. Oh, the name? Yeah, what did she say? Oh, a Canadian a Canadian Mountie. Mountie. Mountie? <laughs> that was my <laughs> husband th for 30 years. <laughs> But if no one's interested, that's okay. I like it. Well, it may just may not be the right night. Doesn't mean you're not going to sell it. So it's about seven and a half inches tall, and the base is about four. And the Canadian blizzard has gone away <laughs> it, it, look, it comes and goes this that quick yeah, look it's summer <laughs> wow that's a big lag a leg a lag a big lag oh a big leg <laughs> a nice helmet thank you <laughs> linux oh. piece Nate, you kill me. The, the swan. Bye, Nate. Is, bye, Nate. Oh, mushroom risotto. <gasps> Don't worry, Nate. We'll still be here when you're done supper. Yeah, we probably <laughs> will. Quit telling us what you're eating. That's not fair. Come That's on true. back. It's a Linux. It's called a bridal swan. They talk about putting the wedding rings in it. I don't know if it's something that can be used like during a wedding ceremony. I don't know. That's what they called it. It is like a trinket dish. It's for your rings. Gold on its wings all the way around and on its trumpet. Isn't that what you call a, a swan's beak is a trumpet? I think it is. Yep. It's really pretty. I like it. It's cute. You can put your rings in it. You can put your m ms in it your whatever cheese and it's ten dollars number 99 for the linux swan thank you <laughs> thank you thank you you come again okay what what, what did i do what <laughs> what'd you do you didn't do i don't anything. know but I'm entertaining Leanne when I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Martha, Martha, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> I have up this um, wood wood plaque painted cat. He's covered up with a quilt, or maybe it's just a calico cat. He's hand painted. He's on a piece of wood. Real cute cat. Real nicely done painted. 
and he does have a hanger on the back and it was mm -hmm. it was done by jm in 80 83 there's a signature on it we're going to do this little plaque i said I, did i say how big it was no i guess i did how big is it <laughs> good night mary thank you for coming good night mary have a good day at work tomorrow 10 by 9. bye mary it's a 10 by 9 flat and it is five dollars number six that's so cute mm -hmm. kitty cat kitty it's cat like something, it's definitely something that you would make tommy <laughs> i'm not much into painting i could do it i can draw She'd make a stuffed one she'd sew one yeah, i'd rather stuff it <laughs> i'd rather stuff them then next item i have is this sarah coventry brooch mm. it's a vintage seagull flying bird night grandma who's going to bed we're doing the waltons okay on the back when i looked up sarah coventry brooches they all said like they all have the same markings, but this one says Canada on it. Wow, that's different. I've never seen that. Nancy, have you seen Sarah Coventry Canada? <laughs> that looks funny from this side. Really? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <You're> like big. <laughs> Anyways, if you're I'm gonna be more careful when I do that, <laughs> did my eyeballs look huge? <laughs> no, just your nose. <laughs> Anyways, if you're interested in the Sarah Coventry brooch, it is ten dollars. Letter O. That's so pretty. Letter what? O. Uh, Gabrielle wants it. Gabby wants it. Oh, okay. Thanks, Gabby. Thank you. All righty. I have a little feller here. Just a little, little feller. First, I thought it was some sort of mouse, but I, I, I'm pretty sure it is a pig because of those ears. But it is a pig dressed as a waiter holding a wine bottle. He's got his little towel over his arm. He's sitting down in this chair, and he's a creamer. He's a little personal creamer. Uh, he's pretty old. He is Japan. But he's in great condition, and he's just the cutest thing. When I get my shelves up, if he's not sold, he's going on my little knick-knack shelf. Because... Mm -hmm. I just love him. I love the colors, the turquoise and this. You're, what I'm seeing on my camera is a more of a brown, but what it really is is more of like a uh, squashy melon color. <laughs> so I like the colors on him. He is $8, number 91, for the pig creamer. $8, number 91, if you are interested in the piggy. I was trying to think, is it Red Riding Hood where the, oh, it's a wolf that dresses like a grandma, right? Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, Terry, got you for number 91. Thank you so much. Not going on your shelf. You're going to love him. No, it's going to go on her shelf. She's yeah. going to love him. <laughs> okay, who's collecting Tanalas out there? What does this look like? A uh, rabbit. A dove. A rabbit, a dove? Hedgehog. Oh, I kinda I kinda thought it was a prairie a dog. Prairie dog? Does it look that's what David said. 
Other when than that, he... I wasn't sure. He was a prairie dog. Oh, a rabbit. Yeah, a I was thinking of a family. Family. like an <laughs> otter. He has a signature on him. Well, he has Mexico on him. He didn't get his actual signature done. He's a um, four and a half by two, two inches. He's about two inches tall, four and a half long. But he's different. I haven't seen one like him. So I thought I'm going to get him. So he is. Hi, Uncle Andy. A rabbit. You think he's a rabbit? Joanne thinks a groundhog. <laughs> Randy <laughs> says, yay, Terry. A pig in the window often means egg and eggs and bacon in the morning. That's for Martha's <laughs> pig. <laughs> I don't think it's a frog. A groundhog? Well, if, if somebody buys it, it can be whatever it can be they whatever take. want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> it is $16, number 12. It's the Rorschach of Tanala, you know? What do you see? Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> And, and Terry, I'm glad that you like him. Tammy, did you get Leanne? Yeah. Leanne. Gotcha. Thank you, Leanne. The next item I have is this little figurine. This tiny little girl with her basket feeding the roosters. She's got a little bandana like Tammy sells on her sails. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she's made in occupied Japan. And I she's just very gobelish. Yeah, isn't she? Mm-hmm. I just think she's super duper cute. And she's just so happy with her little basket. Look at her little socks. And she's letter L for ten dollars. Look, Christina. Do you have one? Look, very similar, huh? They can get. <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. And that's my item. Alrighty, I have something for Father's Day. It is a vintage clothing brush made in Japan. It's got the carved horse head on the top. And this brush came from the Ivy Cottage where Kirsten Dunce's grandmother-in-law is. It, normally I know I know his name, and I, it, ju it just escapes me right now, and that's terrible because he's such a sweet guy. Anyway, came from there. So a good Father's Day present for your husband, your father, your uncle, your grandfather. Everybody needs a little brush to brush off their clothing, cat hair, dog hair, whatever, before they leave the house. And this is, this is a sale. Number 62, $5 for the vintage clothing brush. And now I'm going to stare at you while Tammy does what Tammy does. Stare. 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 <laughs> okay. I have this. Okay, what is this, Martha? Is Martha? Wait, you're moving. Wait. It's a spinning oh, wheel. A spinning wheel? A spinning yeah, wheel. Ahead. I had it right. Then. I wasn't sure if it was called something else. It does work. It's um, it's a lamp, a little night light. It's eight in, eight and a half inches tall and five inches wide. It has a basket underneath there. It looks like you know all this wood grain. Nice little wheel. It has its top. It has a blue light in there right now. Same on the back side. It, 
And here's a plug. Some people like to see what the plug looks like. But anyways, a little lamp spinning wheel night light. And right now it's glowing blue. It's got a blue light lamp in there. It's $14 and it's number four. Bring the paper back and it goes back in color. Brings more bright light in there. And Christina. Yes, Terry, it's electric. Nancy says, well, that was, that is different. <laughs> Okay, the next item I have is this little bird, and I it has it looks to be real feathers on it. It's made in Japan. And it's sitting with a little rose. I've never seen that with the real feathers. Yeah, I don't know if that's creepy or cool. But she's pretty and she is, when I looked it up, there was something similar made by Napco, but it was more like a more vibrant colored bird, but she's pretty vibrant. With I the, like that pink and blue. Yeah. And her feathers have like some green in them and her eyes got some yellow. Doesn't have any chips or cracks. Is it glass or ceramic, Christina? I think ceramic. ceramic. Yeah. Yeah. And definitely hand painted. And she's 14 Canadian, which is 12 US, letter Q. Really cute. And the rose is in really nice shape. Bird alert! <laughs> bird alert! We got a bird alert, alert now. <laughs> Okie dokie. This yeah, is my own Father's story. Day selection. It is down the hatch. It's a, a beer mug, and it's got these two gentlemen. Which I don't want understand why there's only two. It's made in Japan. Maybe that's why there's only two because, you know, they look to me like a barbershop quartet. Kind yeah. Of kind. But there's, mm -hmm. there's a barbershop duo, you know. <laughs> but they're seeing it's, it's it's really nice. It's got it's got crazing on it. I love crazing. I don't know why, but I do. And that would be cool to wrap up in cellophane with sweet treats or beef jerky sticks. Or gift or card. Beef jerky would be good. I mean, now, I don't think you'd still want to use it as a beer mug, but I think it would be great to store your razor in, mm -hmm. things like that, your your toothbrush, you know, man stuff. Yeah, man, man stuff. stuff. <laughs> it's man stuff. It's eight dollars, number thirty-one. If you need something to hold your man stuff, <laughs> down the hatch. Yeah, definitely like a gift card too, right? <laughs> okay, I have this. Another, I guess Father's Day could be a gift of a hillbilly canter. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like, oh, look at the feet. <laughs> yeah. Big feet, too. Look at that. <laughs> and his gun sitting on a wheelbarrow. And what is he holding? <laughs> oh, he's holding a jug. Yeah. He it's looks like, like a, a, a Duck Dynasty, guys. Yeah. And he's got a cork in him. It is... <sighs> Nancy, do we need to send you a beef jerky care package? <laughs> <laughs> it's got a glaze over it. It's ceramic. He's 12 inches tall. He's about that big. He's taller than my head. He's sitting on my shoulders. He's taller than my head. 
Wait but till he stands up. He's fun. <laughs> I guess you could take the cork out and reuse him or something, or he's just a, now a figurine. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there was a label here or not, but it's not now if it was. It's going to be $12, number 13. For this hillbilly decanter. Gabby, we, we said you could put beef jerky in the, the, the man mug. <laughs> That's where she got the beef jerky from. <laughs> uh, the next item I have are three of those far side comic books. <laughs> Joanne's making fun of me. Did I say that? Did I say a wheelbarrow? It's yeah, <laughs> it's a wheelbarrow. It, it's, it's, I guess it is a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> so there's three of the comic books of the far this is the only father's day thing i have because i even completely forgot this one is hound up of the far side and they're just a bunch of comics inside These are from like the 1980s. See if I can find a good one in here. Um, huh. Before rock, paper, and scissors, it says, dang, tired again, tied again. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, can you see them? Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Just rock. And this one is the Far Side Observer. Just a bunch of cool comics inside. And this one is the Night of the Crash Test Dummies. So just three three of the comic books by Gary Larson. There's three of them for a 10 Canadian letter E. Oh, that's a lot of laughing for 10 Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. My brother will like these too. Nancy likes this cartoon too. Oh, is that? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. That's okay. I'm just watching. <laughs> Hi, Martha. How's it going over there? <laughs> uh, it's slow. <laughs> <laughs> Your internet? No. <laughs> okay. I have puppy dogs. <laughs> I have two puppy dogs. They are salt and pepper shakers. They are Commodore from Japan. They have their little stompers and their shirts. You fill their heads up. Now, I had wondered why they had this giant hole in the bottom. Okay? Until I bought those Siamese cats that I sold last night. The girl explained to me that there used to be on these kind, they would have a, um, a little cap here and you would put rice in them and that's what kept the uh, moisture oh. out of your salt and oh. pepper shakers. Mm -hmm. So this is the Commodore, salt and pepper. They got a little bit of cold paint loss and I just noticed he's got a little bit of a rough ear right there. But I think they're sweet. I like them. Hello, Auntie Christy. Yeah. A little Hello. rough right there on the ear. Oh, that's probably why. Me trying to hold them with one hand. So they are $8, number 94, for the Commodore Japan Salt and Pepper Puppy Dogs. $8.94. Good night, Debbie. Thanks for coming. 
Debbie's leaving. Bye. Okay. Hi, Auntie Christy. Next I have up is a fairy lamp. And look what these cool, when they're clear like this, you can get those colored lights and it just changes it all by itself. We're going to do this as a throwdown, starting at, uh, where is it? I got it. Oh, my goodness. That did the wrong thing. We're starting it at $415. Oh, are you sure? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> $415. But she will take penny bids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, cat, she's back. <laughs> this is what happens when you try to run your own. <laughs> you, well, you know, somebody else would have typed that for you. All she had to say is something. <laughs> yeah, that I should have had you just do it. So it's starting at $15. It is the clear one, it has the flower with the leaves around it. That's what I'm starting to really love about the clear ones because you can make every any color light shine through for all holidays. David can have the blue ones. I'm thinking I'm liking the clear ones. I do like the clear. So, and this is five and a half inches tall. And my Walmart does not have that, that lamp. Like oh, really? And this, and this one came with um, a remote control in like six or six or nine lamps, little um, spotlights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got some coming on Monday. It's supposed to be so here. Just order them online. Yeah. Hi, Book Bewitch. They were cheap. Hey, Book. Hi, Book. So, like it's nice. Person. And it, let's see, it has the, let me get a closer up to that. Oh, Tammy, I've got your other lamp. I'll bring it to you, when I, or I'll give it to you when you come on Sunday. What other lamp? Your fairy lamp that they that they put in my box, made me pay for. Yeah. Do you want to keep it and sell it, or do you? No, I'll bring it to you. You picked it out. I didn't pick it out. You did. Okay. I mean, it don't matter to me. So, but if nobody's interested in this, we can move on. You missed all the good stuff, book. The food <laughs> and all that stuff. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll replay everything. And who's after me? Christina. Oh, you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> night, Michelle. Have a good, good sleep. night, Michelle. And the next item I have is this little canoe with the Native American or indigenous salt and pepper shakers. Those are cute. I like those. It was. Um, Hi, Michelle. Thank you for coming. It was from Banff, Canada. Like a, it must have been something you picked up as a trinket when you were in Banff. And she's got quite a bit of wear on her paints, but you can see she's still in pretty good shape. Here's. I don't have a year that this was made. But they come in their little canoe. And that's the bottom. They both still have their original stoppers. And they are $18, which is 15, 15 um, US. For letter Z. I think that's a cute little piece. Yeah, I like how they have a little canoe. There you go. I got some pepper on my laptop now. <laughs> I have salt from the owls. I didn't know there was salt in there. <laughs> Terry, I got you for number 94. Um, you will see when I invoice you, there'll be a discount on that.
because of that his ear being rough like that so you'll see a discount thank you very much this was what i was hoping nancy might have an opinion on it is a satin glass footed dish thing okay first it's got this sawtooth edge bottom but it's got this kind of top now i thought this was some sort of cosmetic you're welcome terry because the the rim the lid fits a little loosely on it and it has this rim so i felt like it probably came with some other kind of top and there was some other kind of cosmetic in it like a a night cream or a cold cream or something and then this was the decorative top that went over it those were my thoughts but it, it's really pretty it's got um looks like holly leaves on it actually in berries or what the etched design is on it same design is on the top Welcome, Julie. This dish, that kind of rim is older. Do you think it had another lid on it, like I was thinking? And then this went on it as a decorative. You know, I don't know why it's, it, it seems like it is a lighter color. When I first got it, I thought, well, maybe it doesn't go on it but it has the exact same etched pattern on it. So I'm like, I'm sure, unless it's just a matter of the size, this is so much further, you know, I don't know, some depth kind of perception deal. I don't know. But it is going to be, seven dollars number 61 if anyone is interested in this satin glass and i think it's a cosmetic dish but you can put anything you want in it it'll be yours so seven dollars number 61 if you're interested in that and lemon drops will work <laughs> <laughs> my grandmother used to always have lemon drops on her coffee mm -hmm. table in her and a little candy dish Gabrielle, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think it's because it's it's thicker than the lid. Next, I have these. This would be good for Father's Day because it, not only can it be used for, I guess, their attentions of, of what it's called, of a placemat. What is this word, Martha? Pimpernel. What is it? Pimpernel. Pimpernail. 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 I I knew I would mess that up. But there there's four acrylic in the original box placemats in here. So I'm gonna move this box. Now the box isn't in the best of shape. It has just rips right there. The box itself is good, but these two corners are ripped out. Um and they have cars on them. Oh. They're acrylic tops with uh, the cork backs and they're uh, 12 by 16. They're really large. Now, a lot of these were um, um, nine by 12 or, or they were either coaster size, but this is the largest one they had, 12, um, 12 by 16, made in England. There's the blue car. Here's a red car or maybe it's Two of, two of the same models. Yeah, apparently there's just two of these and two of those. No, nope. like the red one. No, they're different. Mm -hmm. There's two blue and two red, but they're different cars. There's a um, Rolls convertible. I like those cars, though. Why not, you know, as much as they're remaking cars, why don't they go back to the old styles? Give us some old style cars. Christy says, uh, Auntie Christy says, great Gatsby cars. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a red one. 
there's no hooks on them it have and it has this uh little paper in here but but they're really nice in very nice condition the cork back they're really big but that might make a good father's day gift especially with the cars on it and being in its original box here it's going to be 22 dollars number one These are heavy. Holding, trying to hold them up. <laughs> Mr. L. Page, I got you for number oh, yeah. sixty-one. Thank you very much. He says he needs some lemon drops in his life. Mm -hmm. I've been eating um, hot tamales all night. Oh, my husband loves those. Mm. I buy him three or four boxes at a time. Oh, I love them. Good night. Not um, Terry. I mean Jerry. Terry and Jerry. <laughs> I combine the names. <laughs> They're Terry now. Both of them. Be sure to subscribe before you go. Subscribe to us all. Please, please, please be our friend. <laughs> the next item I have is this piece of costume jewelry. There's one, two, three, four, five. of these individual pieces and each piece comes with two four six eight of the red or of the pink pinkish stones on the bottom and some clear stones It has a nice little clasp. Yeah. Which wall book? Whose wall? Very boring. Anyways, it almost looks like rose gold, but it's a gold tone. That looks very princessy. It's very cute. Very cute. And it's letter J for ten dollars. No mark on it. It's a nice piece of costume jewelry. It's very pretty. And that's my item. Oh, book, are you interested in that? Thank you. All right. My next piece is one of these small eggs. I, it is a cracked egg vase, but I, I hate that term when you write it out to describe it because people think it's damaged. Oh, it's got a crack? Oh, I want a cracked egg vase. So you're going to call it what? A Jeff egg. Yeah, yeah. a Jeffrey egg. <laughs> It's a Jeffrey egg. I won't, if it doesn't sell, I'm going to list it on eBay as a Jeffrey egg. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. I have more than one, so maybe I will. That would be fun. It's got blue and yellow flowers with gold, deta gold details around its little knees and feet. And along the top. It does have this on it. It's like something got on it. Um, that old rubber gum paste is what it feels like and looks like to me. I didn't try to mess with it. I figured somebody else can mess with it. It is, what size is this one? Three and a quarter inches on this size. And he's $7, number 59 for the Jeff Jeff egg. <laughs> I think Jeff's eggs go for a lot more than that. Okay, it's a it's a imitation Jeff egg. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Martha Martha egg. <laughs> yeah, it's a Martha Martha egg. Martha Martha has these. <laughs> okay, did any of y'all crochet out there? 
I'm oh, gonna, yeah, it hurts my hands. I'm going to give it a shot. I have a slew of pre already ready to like make a quilt or whatever your crafting stuff is. Look at that. That looks like a, a mint green. And it's actually this, this camera doesn't give off the right colors. I know it looks mustard. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Well, that is not mint green. It is Kelly green and orange. Come on. How does it, what it does looks it mint green and mustard. That's so funny. There it goes. There, there's more of the color. That's better. Granny squares. That's more of the actual color. It's more of a Kelly green though. And orange. You need to sew uh, them together and make a blanket. <laughs> so there, and there's only one that has yellow and orange. Put it in the middle. Or is that, okay, so is this, this is yellow and green. Roundy. And this is yellow and orange. Look at me. <laughs> well, when I was just looking at this first, Aww, I was thinking it was orange. Tammy's learned her colors. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> there is 11 of these. Holy cow. And then there's a bunch of these. There's, um, they're little, you know, circles already pre-sewn. And, you know, they could make these with dollies and stuff and making dresses or the little clowns that they do with the arms and legs, mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. So some of, you know, there are 33 of these. Wow. So there are yes, colors. Look, staples Multiple. will work. <laughs> Buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple colors and solid colors yep so, yo-yos that's right gabby yo -yo. Yeah. well there's a whole ba bag of 33 of these just mixed of wow. stuff like this you know i don't know how many of which colors but so all of those and these i'm going to do for 15 dollars number 20. if anybody's into crafting or maybe even continuing making something with these, a blanket or whatever. Yeah, you can awesome. make a baby blanket with them. Or they could just be Barbie blankets individually. Yeah. Hot beds. Hey, oh. package toppers. Yeah, Christy, you're right. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Well, that's not what happens to them because I don't crochet. So if they don't sell, then that's not what they end up being. What did L Page say? Tit for tat. Book, book, book. If lemon drops her wishes, we'd be able to count all the lemon drops you've had all the way to the dot, dot, dot. Oh, my God. I'm missing out on something. <laughs> <laughs> so my next item is a couple of things. I found this lady. Good night, Janie. Thank you for coming. Night. Bye. Thank you, Margo. Happy to have you. Did we say hello to Day Trip Vintage? I did. To Julie? Yes. Mm -hmm. she came I did. In. Hello, Julie. Well, hello, if we didn't. <laughs> hello, hello. Thank you for coming. Gabby, are you leaving? No, I, she's telling Jeannie oh. goodnight, I think. So I found this vintage photo of this young girl. Look how young she is. Must be her special wedding day. She looks like she's. You know, I have to just say, the older photos, they look old photos like that. Those people look older than like when they were sixteen. They look older than sixteen, and our sixteen-year-olds look younger than a sixteen. You know, like I think they I look was, more mature, m mature back then. Mature. If was, yeah, if I was to guess, she's maybe fifteen. They aged in dog years back then, apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was married in Brandon, Manitoba. And I couldn't leave her at the thrift store. No, oh, she's so pretty. And nothing happened in my room here until I got Debbie's mystery box from our Vagabond. And in my mystery box, she sent me some photos. And I want, I just want them all, I want someone to enjoy them themselves. She sent me this 
postcard. Yeah, see, and I got Christmas pictures from her, so. <laughs> they keep falling. I have them, like, in my record um, stand. Mm -hmm. And um, they keep falling and landing on the floor and, like, coming out of the coming out of this display. Ooh, creepy. And I'm like, they got to go, man. They cannot stay. How <laughs> very conjuring of them. So then there was this photo. And I don't know where Debbie found these, but they need to leave Canada. This one's okay. <laughs> this one says, I don't know. He looks like he's about to kill grandpa from time. <laughs> this one says 1935. And these guys look happy. But once I put all these photos together with my bride, they just kept falling and it just freaks me out. So I would like someone to find them a home for eight Canadian dollars, which is like what, one American dollar? Come on, someone take me. Well, unfortunately, you know, we can't be it, so. <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> but there you are. Letter F for $8. Oh, oh, oh. I'm never ready. And that's my item. I feel the same way about this next item, Christina. Yeah. Somebody needs to take them. Right. They're brass oh. bookends. I got these when I was on vacation last year. And I don't know what to do with them. I thought, well, maybe I'd use them, but who am I kidding? I'm, I'm not going to hold my books up with, with my brass ducks. <laughs> but they're really cute. Like a hunting lodge or something. Yeah. You know, I see some people, they, they take them and they polish them up. Some people like their brass really polished. Maybe so, you know, a little polish, a little polish, and they'd be nice and shiny. Otherwise, you know, you get the patina of the time gone by on them. They each have, you know, a couple of little deals on them. Life, you know, happens, even to a brass duck. <laughs> so, they've held a lot of books up in their time. And they will double as a weapon and you don't have to register them. Because look, look, <laughs> really get your hand around. Or if you don't want to invest in weights, you got the brass bookends. <laughs> Multi-purpose. <laughs> yes. Okay. And who knew you could do so much with a bookend? So the pair of book bookends, the ducks, the brass ducks are twelve dollars number fifty six premeditated we're not gonna tell twelve dollars number fifty six <laughs> okay next I have is a stack of vintage pillowcases there are five of them and they're all Five different. I don't have mates, so I'm going to sell them all together. This one only has this, um, this, uh, what is this called? Uh, this knit, what is that called? A knitting, this knitting. I forget the name of that, but they're all like standard size. Lace. It's not really lace, it's that other, I don't know, could it be lace? But uh, they're all standard size. There's that one with just the little pink and white lace there. And then this one. Oh, that's pretty. This is Ooh, that's a pretty color. I really like that one. It's standard. Now, a couple of them may have a spot. Like right there. I haven't tried laundry, laundry, washing. Listen to me. Let me just say washing them. I haven't tried washing them yet. Like there's a spot right there. 
and I think there's a, a spot right here on this side. So there's that one. And then we have this one. Really pretty. And that's a, that's a cross stitch one, if you can see that well. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And then there's this one. Some embroidery. Oh, I like that one. It's only one in look that the is scalloped. Let me fold this part up a little bit. You can see that it's a scallop edge. I like those colors. Mm -hmm. And then we have this last one. Girl at my bliss nest. She uh -oh. didn't put out a video video today and her house is full of flowers and they're all like that color so mm -hmm. that looks like what she did in her house my paper just blew away and then there's this one so there's five of them and this one is i can't really tell it it's more like this one's more crispy white and this one's more of a cream crew yeah cream color so on on this one and i just blew my paper away would you say martha ecru ecru oh, word of the day so there's five of them all standard size and like i said i just blew my paper away they are going to be 15 dollars for all of these number five wow Wow. $15 I mean, for number five. You can't buy pillowcases like for that. Huh? I said, you just can't go buy pillowcases for that kind of no. price. No. But they don't have mates, so that's why it's like, um, we'll just do these for. Yeah, I mean, use them, buy them, use uh -huh. them, enjoy them. Yeah, I think they're very pretty on a bed. Thank you, Day Tripper. I got you. Um, oh, I don't know if you ever order. ordered from me before, Julie, if you. If not, send your um, all your info to my email listed right there below. And, uh, oh, Christina, thank you. Okay. Um, the next item I have are those pictures again because someone needs to buy them. No. <laughs> just going to keep showing them until someone. <laughs> You're just going to keep showing them. <laughs> I have four um, little golden books. There is the story of Jonah, <laughs> David and Goliath. I think he's 1974. The Lord is my shepherd, 1986. And this one's a little beat up, but Daniel and the lion's den, he's a little beat up. But the pages aren't inside. The pages are really good. This guy's in really good shape. And it says 86. And I haven't seen these ones before that I've picked up. I have quite a few of them. This one's 74, David and Goliath. It says 1960. 7468 There's David. There's David. <laughs> <laughs> so they're they're quite old, but they're old. And then the story of Jonah. And that's the back. And for all four of these golden books, they're 12 Canadian dollars, letter U, which is about 10 US. And that's my item. Are we on our last one? Do you see Leanne?
for number five? Oh. Didn't Julie get number five? No, uh, number five was the pillowcases and day trooper. Uh, Julie got it, yeah. Okay. Sorry, they were Sorry, taking around. Man. I thought that looked funny. Yeah. So. Maybe she's in top chat. Maybe. I don't know. Wagon. But I thought, you know, you should see it. So, okay. I have a story. <laughs> We love the story. I have this pretty green creamer. It's a dark green. It's it's really pretty. It's got these uh, like rings going all the way around it with this pretty little. It's almost a foot. It's it's really pretty. I can't make out who made it anymore. I've had it for a while. I got it in Wyoming a couple of years ago. But when I pulled it out of the box today, I think, can you see that? I scratched it. Uh, I was so mad at myself. It was so, it was so perfect. How do you scratch I, it on a box? Oh, no, I had something with um, uh, this this wire thing. You know, it, it, it's, a, it's a deal. <laughs> so it, it's got a little tiny scratch on it. I'm sorry. It'll still hold cream. It'll still cream your coffee. But because it's got scratch, it's five dollars number ninety-three. It's a nice ceramic. It's shiny everywhere, but the scratch. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> if if nobody wants it, I'll stick an assemblage in it for Christmas, and I that'll look good. Cream. That'll look good. I can do that. Okay, we on our last round? Y'all all got one more? Yeah, I got one more. Uh -huh. Okay. I have this kitty cat. It's like kitty a door cat. stopper. It has spelt on the bottom. It's It's got a face. <laughs> and it's got pretty flowers all over it. Ain't she cute? Uh -huh. I'll have to try that, Nancy. Thank you. So, a door stopper, a, t a shelf sitter, or you know, whatever. It's a. It's about seven inches long, and this cat will be eight dollars, and it's number nineteen. That's what one was so late. I'm paint. sorry, Leanne. I probably have a lot more. I have lots and lots of linings, y'all. It's trying to look into Christina's soul to talk about those <laughs> pictures. <laughs> Hi, Mama's Treasures. Hi, Hi Mama's, Mama's Treasures. Treasures. How's it going? Okay, time. We're fixing to do our run through. This is our last round. Okay, so I have a set of professional, professionally framed, I think it's cross-stitched. Martha, do you know, Tammy? Um, Let me see. Yeah, that looks like cross-stitched. Are, are they in a cross or are they just going like this? Because otherwise it'd be needlepoint, right? Right. It's needlepoint if they're just all laying sideways, you know, together like that. Does it look like any X's in them? But if it yeah. goes like this, it's cross stitch. Cross stitch, then. Okay. okay. They're, they're cross stitch. They're very beautiful. That's that took a while to do. Yeah, here it's very third, third of put, third of <laughs> So they have the gray frame with the reds. I love to do that work. I really do. But I can't see well enough to do it anymore. And on the backs, they're professionally framed with the wire hanger. And if you're interested, they're letter H for $12. 
Gabby's thinking and they look cross stitch. Okay. Yeah. And that's my item. Christina, is your dog snoring? Yeah. <laughs> I can <didn't> hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so making fun of that poor dog. My husband's dog snores, and I can hear it in the bedroom with my earbuds in while I'm watching movies. <laughs> She's a snorer. That's uh, so cute. Christina, book wants your letter H. Oh, okay. Thanks, book. <laughs> All right, then. My last item is also wall hangings. It's a pair. And when I first got them, I thought maybe there was one missing, but when I looked them up, no, they 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 are a two picture item. <laughs> I got a little fuzz on this wall. So I think, oh. It's home interiors from the 70s. That's so cute. Wow. And this one is Faith. It's a little more vibrant than what you're seeing on the on the camera, at least from the way I'm seeing it. This one is in pretty good shape. I'm trying to think. I don't really see anything. No, oh, this one's in good shape. And it's got its hanger on the back. And this, I've everyone that I looked up all have this. So I, I don't get what that is, yeah. but they all, every single one had it. So I've got Faith and the other one is, and they're, they're wood, love. Hold on, Faith is in my way. Gotta have Faith out of the way and love. Those are. And they said they were marriage plaques. <laughs> so I guess you gotta have Faith and love. Adorable. Yeah. I thought they were more for a kids' room. I thought so too, but they I was hearing them called marriage plaques. Uh, <laughs> I think you can put them just about anywhere you want to. I think they'd be cute in a bathroom, even. I, know, I kinda like it. So. They're adorable. <laughs> that's the that's the vibes I'm getting off of these bad boys. So they are twelve dollars number seventy six. For the face and love plaques. They're, oh, wait. It is my jam. Yeah, see? It looked perfect in Tammy's house. Those are so $12, dollar. number 76. If you're interested, if you need a little faith and love in your house. <laughs> I need a lot of faith and love. Yeah, you guys really faith and love. Yeah. Could you really hear the dog snoring? <laughs> what? Um, no, I'm psychic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they heard it on the screen. <laughs> so <laughs> that's funny because uh, who was it, Gabrielicious, that thought it was her husband upstairs? <laughs> that's how loud it had to have been. <laughs> I didn't hear it. I guess my fan is blocking that noise out. <laughs> I'm so used to it. I just. That's funny. Well, I, I thought somebody was moaning, and then I'm like, <laughs> nobody appears to be moaning. So, <laughs> uh, are y'all interested? Do y'all want to run through your items one one last time, or y'all, what do you want to do? That you're the boss, man. I am not the boss. We do what we want. We you're want not the boss. <laughs> Then, then, then I I don't want to run through my items. I would like to say thank you to the people who purchased things tonight. I appreciate that. And when you are watching this on replay, as I know you will be, you know, smart people skip to the end and look see what didn't sell. <laughs> so if if you're watching this on replay and you see something of mine that you're interested in. Um, just send me oh, an email. Oh, please do so, Gabrielle said, because she was late. Oh, okay. please do? You All right. right. <laughs> just for you, Gabby. We'll do it. We'll do, we'll do one at a time so we can run through them real quick. <laughs> okay. Well, Gabby, you got to tell me what you like. Do you want, you want 
planner? Do you want cup? Do you want an animal? So, I'll show, I'm going to show you two at a time. There you go. I have a little miniature poodle planner, world's tiniest poodle planner. Okay. It's going on my little shelf. And then I have a crystal penguin that I've been told has flippers, not wings. And when you look through it, it makes a beautiful prism of everything you're seeing. You're going to have to say the price. Oh, um, do I have to? Okay. Well, she said, she said planner, so she might be interested. Okay. The poodle is, I'm looking, it's $5. And the penguin is $10. Poodle, penguin, 10, 5, and 10. <laughs> You're gonna get confused. This one's a toothpick holder. Oh yeah, toothpick holder. I don't know. I guess it could be a toothpick holder. I just see everything as a planner. <laughs> <laughs> so you can put your toothpicks in it. So anyone he's, he's five. The and the penguin's ten. So or I got an egg vase. Jeff Jeff face i am all alone everybody's gone i'm here can you see me <laughs> nope i hit the wrong window right. then, huh? <laughs> I'm all in. i was gonna start going through everything man i was just gonna have me a sale <laughs> do you want me to do this sure i'm just gonna run through everything real quick to get out get it out of the way i had Oh, well, you said one at a time. Yeah. No, I didn't. I said bring through all your stuff. We'll do two at a time. Okay, two at a time. Okay, I have a tree, uh, a four tree, a uh, four mug tree holder, $16, number eight. And I got a great Father's Day mug, mustache mug, $12, number nine. I had this real feathered made in Japan bird. My prices are in Canadian, 14 Canadian. It's about 12 US. And I had this enamelware fishy bowl. And here was $6. Letter I. And I have a better Father's Day mug than Tammy does. <laughs> Except two. Mine, yeah. is, mine is down the hatch. You know, it's just go ahead and get your 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 mustache all foamy. It's a it's a beer stein thing, and it's it's eight dollars number thirty one. Or or I have a Daisy Pyrex bowl. And it is twelve dollars, number seventy-eight. <laughs> I had the hobo decanter. It was twelve dollars, number thirteen. He's in good shape. He's fun. He's funny to look at. And he is a talking point when your friends come over. <laughs> And then a Monopoly mug for game night. $8, number 17. I had my Native American couple with their baby on a canoe. Do you see that, Martha? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I think that's a cute canoe. Yeah. And then I also had the little precious moments salt and pepper shaker with the little girl and her bunny sitting in the chair. And she was $10 letter S. Is that too right? Yeah. I had this night. Hey, 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 hey. Hi. Is it your turn? 
<laughs> Thank I think you I'm very backwards much. now. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I will be in close proximity to you on Sunday. <laughs> what are you holding? Oh, okay. <laughs> It's just me. a pie server. It's a spanker. Here. <laughs> it is from Japan. It's a ceramic pie server. I keep seeing something over there. It's your stupid pictures. Mine? Yes. They're making me see things at the corner of my eye. What pictures? You're on that what side pictures? of us. Oh, $10 number 90 <laughs> for the ceramic Japan pie server. Or we have the Linux bridal swan ring holder. She's a trinket dish and she's $10, number 99. All right, your turn, Tammy. Okay. I'm glad I can go. Okay, I had the night light, the little um, spinning wheel night light. It is $14, number four. And then I had this cute little planter, tiger planter, and he is fourteen dollars, number fourteen. Oh, look at all them fours! If we were playing poker, I'd be winning what? right now. <laughs> you have a theme. I didn't even realize that when I picked it up. <laughs> I had the cobalt. Um, Navy blue. I don't know. It's pretty. It's kind of a. I don't know. It's a deep blue with thick holder with mirror. Made in England. No. And it was fifteen Canadian dollars. Letter D. And I had the vintage Mickey Mouse glass with the, with the two little bobbleheads to go with it for twelve Canadian dollars. Yep, then go. I'm sitting here wrestling to get these bracelets out of the package yeah. and I realize it's it's right by the microphone going crinkle, crinkle, crunch, crunch. <laughs> right. I apologize. Thank you, Joanne, for, for keeping me in line. Okay, I have a lot of 23 bangle bracelets in various kinds and colors. And they are $10, number 60 for the 23 bangle bracelets. And then, oh, okay, how about this? And Nancy says it's pre-1945, probably in the, what did she tell me? Hold it, I got it written down. 20s to 40s, some sort of cosmetic dish. Wait, somebody bought this. They put lemon drops in it. Yes. Okay. Hey, that worked well. There you go. That's my two. And Joanne wants 60. Joanne, you want 60? Okay, baby. Thank you. Okay. I have a set, the set of owl salt and pepper shakers that are $8, number 11. Then I have the cruel little girl in a picture frame behind glass that is eight dollars number three i love that i love love love, love that and i had my hooters oh hooters i forgot i like yours better they're cute <laughs> for 12 like canadian dollars with the flowers made in Taiwan, original stoppers. And then I had the Imperial Candle Wick Marmalade Jar, the original spoon, 
and it was, oh, where's the letter? There it is. Letter W for $18. Next. Oh, next. <laughs> we have, have one people showing. I thought it was was just 1940s. Nancy says it goes back to the 1930s. It is the music pow musical powder box. They are ten. Got a wooden bottom and it's got a working music box in it that I don't know what the tune is. I was also told that ten dollars is too cheap. So if you would like it, it's ten dollars number eighty four. If you wait for eBay, I don't know what it's gonna be. More. <laughs> and then I have a little Jeff Jeff egg. $7, number 59. He has a little brown spot on him somewhere. Oh, there it is. Right there. It's a blemish. It's a wart. I don't know. <laughs> $7, number 59. Okay. I have these little trinket um, wall hangings. Of a rabbit, clover, and what are they? Uh, the copper um, little jello, jelly mows or um, some kind of mold. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. They're only like three inches tall. They're $8, number 16 for the set. And then we had the clear fairy lamp. That is $15, number 15. And it's the five and a half inch fairy lamp. Um, oh, I'm missing something, but I had this little tiny bunny, cobalt blue, on the nest. Tiny little dish. Fifteen dollars, letter K. And I had this made in occupied Japan little figurine for ten Canadian, letter L. Was that good? Yeah. Okay, I can do a Lustraware pink plastic refrigerator dish for $5, number 63. It's got one little edge right here and a little wear on the top. But the pink is beautiful. It's in good condition. $5, number 63. Okay, thank you, Gabrielle. I've got you for that. And then I have a unused new in package Jiffy frame. These are for the little uh, cross stitch and embroidery pictures. We pick them up a lot. If you look in here, you can see some of the kits that they had sewn for embroidery. It's a four by five, I believe. I can't pick up the card with my nails. It's $8, number 71. Oh, you do, wait, Gabrielle, wait. You don't want it, you do want it. Let me know. This one is $8, number 71. If you don't want it, Gabby, then put no, 60. <laughs> no, no. Computer. Okay, I still have this cat plaque, wood hanging plaque. Say that and three times move. fast. Cat plaque. Cat plaque. Cat plaque. Cat plaque. Cat plaque. <laughs> hmm. And this kitty cat door stopper, shelf sitter, something. It's got some weight to it. $8, number 19. 
I had the set of two embroidered standard size pillowcases, new in box, new old in box, 14 Canadian, letter D. I had the bride photo from Brandon, Manitoba, Canada. with the photos that Debbie gave me for $8, letter F. And the mm -mm Campbell Soup mug, it's all Canadian, letter P. Gary, that's fine. It's not a problem. I have the uh, brass weapons. <laughs> now they're upside down. <laughs> the ducks. Well, you know, they just fit so well in your hand like this. <laughs> Bring the duck's neck. Brass ducks. And Nancy was saying something about polishing them, so maybe I'll polish them up. I just hear other people say, do not polish it. Let the patina lay. Leave it there. Mm -hmm. And then Nancy's like, polish it up. Make it shiny. So I have that and I have night Nancy. I have the night Nancy. I have the bell. So the uh, Fenton bell. So after you murder them with the Dutch, you can call the butler to come clean it up. <laughs> $10, number 97. Other than that, I just have the plaques. No, Christy ain't here. She always just pops in and leaves us. <laughs> um, she oh. falls asleep. Yeah, she does. <laughs> just just yell at, her, at Coco to wake her up. Because today's Friday. She don't work tomorrow. Or, I don't know. Maybe she does. Sometimes no, she doesn't work hurting. Oh, no, she she's not, because you're going shopping. That's right. That's right. Next, I have this trinket dish. Night, Nancy. Now, it does have a, it does have a crack in it. It has a repair, but it's still really nice. That's why I have it at $6, number two. It still works, she says. It still works. And then I had all of those crochet 11 squares 33 round pieces for $15 for number 20 and then I had um oh I didn't do this book sorry I had the Indiana blue carnival glass and I think we were offering it up starting at 15. So if someone wants it, they're welcome to it. Melinda says she'll take the cats. Cats? I got Melinda three. both cats? Melinda says she'll take the cats. Wait, my cats or did y'all have cats? I, I didn't have a cat. <laughs> And I think it's three last time, so I'm done. You're done? Yeah. Okay. And well, then you'll have to be more specific, baby doll. I'll show her. Oh, what? what? I got nothing. <laughs> well, then y'all must have sold more than me. These cats, Melinda. I had those, and one was $8, and one was $5. Or is this way? And then the last thing I have is the um, the uh, what do you call them? placements. These things are heavy together. The four placements, and they're large ones. Twenty-two dollars, number one.
and that was it. Melinda, just let me know you wanted the the two cats that I just showed. If we were doing paperwork, um, Joanne would probably be asleep. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. Thanks Bye, for Gabby. Coming. Melinda will take the cat. She didn't say yet, did she? Melinda? No, it's like when somebody calls you and you just miss it and you try to call them back and they don't answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one was number six. And this one was 19. Tammy, do you see the message from Joanne? Um, send me your DM. It's just Rena. I'm going to look. Ooh. I, I think love that's your what I'm going to do. What wow. is it? Show us. Hold on. <gasps> let me make this good. Oh, my Come gosh. on. You're wow. It. My. Is that yours or just at the mall? There we go. Yes, Melinda. He's got it all lit it. up, too. That's a nice cabinet. That's pretty. Melinda, did you I want love the way that looks. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow, sir. Did they change colors? Was that a little video light? That's pretty cool. It's in her mom. Melinda says yes, she wants both the cats, Tammy. Okay. Where'd you guys go? Where are y'all? There you go. Just okay, you Melinda, I got you that for that. That's cool. I got wow. a cabinet. I'm going to take everything out of it. And David gets me lights, the black running lights. I'm going to. I'm gonna start getting some. You're making some glass. I like it. It looks like a little night light. We can leave it on at night. I don't need it. I don't need it. How's your room coming, Martha? Is it all up? Yeah, this is it. It's not all decorated. I'm still bringing boxes in and unloading them. And my husband looks at the boxes and he goes, "Room's not big enough." <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm going to have to keep the holiday stuff in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Looks Joanne, like this is yours? No, it's just in her mall. Oh, that looks nice, though. But I like that. Book, I can keep your stuff like that. makes you want to start collecting it. Book, you're a welcome addition to any live seller chat, whether you buy something or not. Mm -hmm. So, how many people are in here? Well, I guess like five. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I'm thinking about 20 of them have fallen asleep with their TV <laughs> on. I've done that. Yeah. I did that to you last night, Martha. <laughs> See, I told you I was psychic. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. You just have a very soothing voice. She does, doesn't she? I put people to sleep with my voice. Thank you. <laughs> Don't talk to us while we're driving, Melinda. I mean, uh, Melinda. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Hang on. I was just writing Melinda's name. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that Wedgwood. <laughs> right there in the middle. She's got Wedgwood. Oh, yep. And what's that to the left? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. Little doggies? Cat, maybe doggies? Well, it's true, Buck. Chris, Christina is Central Time, so she should be the same time as 
we are right now. Right, Christina? Tammy, well, will you will you tell Melinda yes, you got her for the cat so she knows? Yes, I do. Melinda, I wrote you down. I got you for both cats. She had to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. I think I, don't know I, think, where she she, went. I think she's central. <laughs> oh, you're just guessing. <laughs> I um I think she's central time. What time is it where you're at, Christina? I had to go pee. <laughs> um oh, here she goes. Twelve forty. <laughs> Well, I had drank a whole bottle of wine. <laughs> it's got to go somewhere. It's got to go somewhere. <laughs> I did good. You're welcome, you Debbie. Thank you for Debbie. coming. Uh, what time is it where you're at, Christina? Uh, 12, like 12.40. So, yeah, she's central time. She's staying with us. Yeah. What time is it where you're at, Tammy? Um... <laughs> <laughs> and until 42? Okay. I want to make sure you are still on the same plane as <laughs> Look at her trying to trip me up. I know. I had to think, did I say something wrong? No. It's like 42 here. <laughs> you have perfected time travel. Please let us know how you did it. <laughs> She is in Canada, but she's straight up in the middle. She's, I mean, in the middle with us. Straight up. I'm straight up. My sister's in Canada over to the left of her, and she's two hours ahead of us right now. Okay, so, ladies. I don't know. Oh, you're starting oh. another model. Uh oh. <laughs> cheers. The truth will come out now. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Why not? Hot tamales and wine. Oh, look, I got, I got another one. Back up. What is this, water? Oh, no. What were you lusting after, book? My little bunny? Hey, I hit yeah. 600 yesterday. 600 oh. subscribers, y'all. I know. Woo, woo, woo. You and Martha, I don't know how it's possible that you both don't have a thousand. Like, I just don't get it. Will you start creating it. some fake Not accounts? Not everybody likes it. <laughs> I will. We need oh, to, we need to each make multiple accounts and subscribe. Oh. <laughs> Melinda fell asleep and woke up at the end. My daughter drinks those, Joanne. Oh, Joanne, you like Moscato? Look, see, Melinda fell asleep because your boys. I told you. <laughs> it was Martha. I'm sleeping. Uh, I, uh, I hit, um, I, I thought uh, maybe I'll try to do um, Night, Randy. A, another giveaway at 7. What the heck, Randy? Just stay up. Have a drink. This is. It's tomorrow already anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to get up. <laughs> yeah, like my little chocolate bunnies. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, they're bunny? bunnies? Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're so cute. We like a chocolate. I like a chocolate fish. That's another collection I have, y'all. Look at Imagine me. that. Look at me and my mama. <laughs> Aww. You were that little once? I can't remember me being that little. One and only. I can remember me too. I don't know mm -hmm. what kind of clothing she put on me. <laughs> she definitely That's the kind of clothing I still look for. <laughs> oh, Debbie lives alone. Well, ah, come, to it, Debbie. Debbie. come on. Oh, pugs are so Picasso Pet just had a thousand on um, Congratulations. Instagram. I have a, um, I don't know. I have um, like almost 1,200 Instagram followers. If I could just get them to all come over. Right. Mm -hmm. 
what's going on with you? What's going on with you? Hmm? You're just the biggest suck. And I got, I think, I might have got one new subscriber tonight. Hey. I forgot to write it down. Well, Julie, you know, here's the problem with collecting. I'm a cheapskate. So I have to collect something that doesn't cost very much. Because if I spend very much money on something, I feel like I need to sell it. So I collect vintage patterns because they're not that expensive. I also like to collect Italian Empoli glass, but I only get it when I can sneak in there and get one for, you know, four or five dollars. So I don't have a whole bunch of it because that doesn't have happen often. So what about you guys? You'd like to know your favorite collections. You know that barware that comes in the stand with the cups and then the decanter? Oh, I'm wait. Hold on. Just a second. Hold on. I'm sorry to interrupt you. That's okay. okay so, Kat, Kathy, are you saying that I haven't checked your numbers? Are you saying that you don't even have 200 subscribers on YouTube? Because we need to do something about that. I have 14, but I don't care. <laughs> First of all, if you're going to be a seller, you have to care. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, you I'm do. happy just to hang out with you guys. I, you know, if I can make some money off my thrifting adventures, that's fine. But I don't need subscribers. I just have all you guys. <laughs> I'm going. You, to, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Christina. Go, go ahead with what you were going to say, baby. What was I saying? Uh, something about why you, how much you liked your wine, apparently. <laughs> Something about uh, your collections. Oh, no. I went to the thrift store and they had one of those um, sets that come. I don't know. Maybe it's like a 25th anniversary set that comes with the decanter and then all the wine glasses in the stand with the handle. And I. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Those are so pretty. And it was like little wine glasses, but. I don't know, it was like $4 for a set of eight glasses in the decanter. And I picked it up and I thought, well, how am I going to ship this? No one's going to want to ship this. And well, I put it down and then I thought, well, no, I should go get that. It was gone. I think barware is coming back. Mm -hmm. Kathy, I, I, I want, want 143. I've never actually looked at your, your subscriber amounts you've got a lot of great videos i don't understand why you don't have more subscribers you have to um push yourself out there with um all the all the look at look at my my stuff that i do all the um where's my, i move my phone look at all the uh little logos i'm always making you gotta you got to put that out there for people to see. And I mean, on Instagram, you got to follow people for them to follow you. And then you'll start getting noticed. Hashtags. You have to use hashtags. That's another way of getting people to see something that you have. Ooh, she has the same kind of taste as me. I'm going to follow this person. That's that's the kind of thing. The hashtag is what gets it on um, Instagram. YouTube, I haven't you quite figured out yet. Have you done any live sales, Kathy? Did I miss it or am I just forgetting? Because oh. that happens. The Castle Cat did a sale with Tammy and Junk to be Loved. That's right. It was That's what? Right. With who? Just the other. Don't just ask Tammy. Other day. She won't remember. She had like 15 sales this week. You've had what a sale you? with the Castle Cat. No. Didn't you? Yeah. I that wasn't, it wasn't it was um, going to be love. It was Sabrina. She had one with uh, Debbie. I mean, uh, Je Gina and um, Kat. Gina and yeah, Cat. Tell okay. us. Yeah, <laughs> who did you have a sale with? It was the Castle Cat and you said me and um, Jump to be Love, and it Jump. wasn't us. Yes, it's Vintage Digs and Calypso yeah. and Cat. 
Oh, yeah, because I, I was saying, I was making a comment. It was nice to see her face with her name. I'm sorry, that's my bad. <laughs> and did you get more subscribers after you had the sale? And are you interested in doing another sale? I'm sure she's still here because her granddaughter was with her. Stormy, what do you like? There's nothing at the ceiling. And I, I remember it now because I came in on that sale. Christine, I was there. I'm gonna, go get, I'm gonna go get her link. She got a few more, and yes, she would like to have another sale. Well, I would like to have you come and have a sale on my channel at some point. I don't have a ton of subscribers, but I, I would love to have you on my channel. So is it okay if I contact you about setting something up like that? Aww. Christina Taylor, I can never find your link. <laughs> I can do it on my phone. Hold on. I go here. I okay, go here. cool. I go here. I go there. I go there. Okay, cool. uh, she is on. She is also. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay. Can you email me, Kathy? And then that way I'll have your email and we can communicate like that pretty easily. Unless you prefer Instagram or text. Yeah, Christina, there's a lot of Christina Taylors under YouTube. There you go. I think that's me. You think that's you? Let's <laughs> <laughs> try it out. You don't have to do a lot of live sales, Kathy. Hey, Christina. That's just, you know, if you want to. So we'll talk about it. Sounds good. Do that. Tippy Winks is back. Where'd she, she go? Did you wake up? Did you she wake up, Christy? Did you wake up? up? Yes, me and Martha are going um, Sunday. She's going with Christy tomorrow. They didn't invite me. You were stood me up. We were supposed to go tomorrow. <laughs> and you mysteriously yes. find Dr. I Seuss. I totally forgot we had tickets to, what is it? Um, Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Yeah. She managed to pull those out of her hat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't buy them. That's why I forgot about them. The kids bought them. That and I have a um, baby shower that I don't want to go to. But. Well, thank you for coming, Debbie. We we would look like fools if we just sat here and talked to ourselves. So we appreciate you to be here to interact with us. That's weird. I tried to paste my my channel in there. Christy, where in the world did they find that planner at? In case people don't know, Miss Christy lost her planner. Now, in this planner is her life. That's how she keeps up with everything she's doing and when it's happening. And she left it somewhere when she took her mama to the medical center. Oh, so no. she was distraught without her planner and it was found. And she had to go oh, early to pick it up. Oh. Wait, it was found? It was found. We had talked about that she had a receipt in it that had her name and stuff on it. So they used the receipt from the doctor's office and called the doctor's office and let them know that they had found the planner and then someone from the doctor's office went and picked it up and she had to go and get it from them. Well, she wow. didn't tell me about that. I didn't know he found it, Christy. She don't tell me everything. It just happened. It just Martha's happened. Martha's her new best friend. <laughs> You're out. Hey. Back seat. I'm her talk to, talk to somebody while she's driving home, friend, because I'm not up when she's driving to work. <laughs> well, I'm not always up either. 
I think she's trying to get you, Tammy, but you were in sales all week. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that, that was yesterday. She's calling and I'm, I'm on the phone on live. Uh, Christy, I'm live. <laughs> Oh, and then awesome. she did call me this morning, but I was sicker than a dog this morning. I couldn't answer the phone. See? See? Now she's pulling the I was sick card. I already told you that, so stop you it. Weren't, you weren't too sick to, to babysit and have a sale. And <laughs> Michelle went to sleep. She's woke up and we're still on. <laughs> <laughs> that happens a lot on Friday night. She's not the first person that did, said that to us on Friday night. <laughs> yeah. I have to get up bright and early and meet Christy at 12, so I can't oh, see it. Oh, my late. God. Wow. <laughs> Where are y'all going? Back to spring? Why do you always go to spring? Y'all need to try something spring. different. I've only been there twice. Oh, Okay. <laughs> I'm not burnt out on it yet. Yeah, spring's a nice place. I like that one. And I've only been to the other one one time. If you look hard enough there, you you will find things at that other one. I mean, it is bigger. <laughs> yeah. Look at Sabrina says, no, I missed the entire sale. <laughs> Christy, that Sabrina? you. Christy, Christy took that lady cupcakes and flowers. Oh, that's nice, Christy. Okay. Sabrina will will go through everything that didn't sell. Just for you. <laughs> okay, who's what are you just looking for? Back. We have we have this. How about this? <laughs> Got an egg. Like another thing, y'all. Um, Christina, you need to put all your stuff together that didn't sell and post it on your Instagram. Yeah, I think I will. I was just so busy running both my mom and Rob into the Winnipeg for doctor's appointments this week. It's just like overwhelming. <laughs> now who's, 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 who's the dog and who's the human holding the, the leash now, Julie? Show it all again. <laughs> Our, it starts at 10 central. I mean, I hate to, I would hate to say it, but we probably should start at 11. So we're done after um, fat birds, but we're we going try. for about an hour. They start an hour and then we start and they keep going for another hour. So they're usually done around 11 and we're no stamina. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, and I figure like, I mean, I'm, I can watch two things at once. So I'm thinking that's what a lot of people are doing. I do. I, I do. I have to turn the chat down, the, the sound down on one while I'm listening to the other. And then I yeah. go back and forth reading lips and looking at the stuff. <laughs> Joanne says she needs another beer if we're going to show again. <laughs> go grab one, John. Well, you'll probably have to go pee, so we'll wait. Yeah, yeah. and if we show you enough, you'll buy more, right? Because <laughs> the more you see something, the more you start liking it. That's well, what happens to me. Out, yeah. Let's go pick out new things from ourselves and show well, that. Stuff behind me, y'all want new well, stuff. is very convenient. Martha's is very convenient, right there. I'm so jealous of her room. I put all my uranium right there so it would show. Just okay, put a black light on it. Let's glow. You glow, girl. You should have put it on the top shelf because your head I don't covers have it. Christie's. See, I don't have Christie's light, so I can't make it. <laughs> oh, but look. This one is so pretty. I love this one. Look at this swan. Oh. See, Chrissy says do it from the bottom. Oh, I've never seen something like that. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. Without the light on it, is it still there. green? Is it green? It's green. The only one that I have that's not green is, is the perfume bottle that's yellow. And it glows what color? Green? It glows green. 
And I found it at that other uh, antique mall. I only had this fairy. I had this fairy lamp tonight. What is this? A mushroom or Hi, umbrella Kathy, fairy thank lamp? You. Good night, Cap. Can't wait to see what you get at the yard sales. Sabrina wants your uranium, Martha. Martha, uh, no. Christy, stay away from the grapes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Christy. I yes, do I do. I still have those mermaids here. Lay them on the shelf. Stop. <laughs> I want those oh, grapes. Wow. I need more balls. They're orange. Okay, wow. I need orange ones. I need blue ones too, y'all. Hi, Where Linda. Look at these giant mushroom salt and pepper shakers I found. Holy cow. Where are you going shop? Where'd you find them grapes at? We live in the same area. The grapes? I've had the grapes for a long time. I got them at, out there at Larry's. Oh. Debbie wants the grapes. I want the grapes. No shopping the shelves, y'all. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Because <laughs> I want the grapes. <laughs> That's nice. Isn't that pretty? Is that a what is that? Is that a candle holder? No, it's Impoli. Glass. It's Italian glass. So it's like a vase, or it's well, or is it just for looks? Period. It's just for looks or candy. Wow. It's only what I have unpacked. Sabrina wants that too. Hi, Sonia. Okay. Hey, Go and check them all out. I'll be, I won't be sending out invoices until tomorrow evening. So check it all out. Yeah. Let me know. What's happening, lady? I missed you tonight. Oh, I had a spell Wednesday, Thursday, and tonight. So she's having one tomorrow, and no, I'm not. <laughs> well, it's tomorrow already. Oh, what are yeah. You what are you doing tomorrow? She's she having says I'm having a sale tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> so, what time is your sale tomorrow, Tammy? One o'clock. <laughs> Oh, but next week, next week is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday again. I told you, keep your cotton picking hands off of Thursday. To what? That wasn't a mistake. That wasn't uh, a, oh, I accidentally scheduled for Thursday. No, no, that was, our, our, that Thursday one is was already done. That's with you, me, and Daniel. No, that that's not next week. Oh, it's not? Is that next week? I thought I it was so. the, the 23rd. It is. Maybe it's the 17th. I thought well, it was the 23rd. The date today? It's the third Thursday. Let me see. 12th of June. You're right. It is the 17th. You're right because I'm with Sabrina on the 24th. So you're right. But it's on my channel. So we're going to do it this week, next week on your channel? Yeah. Next, this is coming week, right? Yeah. Let me know I when I make the promo. Yeah, we'll do it on my channel. I don't want to, I just started Thursday nights. I don't want to miss a, a Thursday night. Okay, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, so we'll make it clear with Daniel because well, we were doing it earlier, weren't we? No, well, yeah, we'll still do it at the, at the usual time. But it'll be okay. on, it'll be on my, my channel. So even if somebody doesn't come till nine, I'm there. Does that make sense? Yeah, let me, I'll look at exactly what we had there. What is one way of getting down your inventory? Uh, having a lot of sales? Because <laughs> I've been having to shop more. Oh, yeah, Sonia, lots didn't sell for me. Sold a few things. Do you want to see them? Actually, book, I, I've got an idea of a way to show i have so much trouble showing my uranium on the camera 
I've come up with an idea that I'm, I'm trying to put together that will help me. It's very mysterious, isn't it? Um, Seriously, what Fine, I did was this I was the last it. item shown. So if you're looking at the video, this was the last thing shown. I was the last one showing something. They sold more than me. <laughs> no. I got an egg. Hi, Dean. Nice of you to join us. We're done with our sale. We're just uh, chatting it up. Sonia is wanting to see some. We're just, we're just flashing some merch. <laughs> it's another preview. <laughs> oh, please show. Oh, we're going too fast. Okay. Wait. Go slow. <laughs> I'm trying to go, go slow. slow. <laughs> I'm sorry, Debbie. The grapes are not for sale. Joanne, go grab a beer. They're just to look pretty behind me. If I don't take that card it's out, like, I'm going to take everything at one time. <laughs> <laughs> How much Thank you, Christy. Call? See you tomorrow, baby. Good night, Christy. I wish I could How come much call me. Call me. Again. Wait, go slowly. Swan. I'm actually surprised it didn't sell because these are always hot. Drop it like it's hot. Yeah, drop it like it's hot. Mm. Don't drop anything. I have a pug. Do you want a pug? Pablo. Crystal penguin. We should just do a live sale like this. Yeah, yeah, all three of us at one time. Why not? Yeah. And just keep repeating them. She says, what is that, Tammy? What is what? I right. don't know. Sabrina the wants owls or something. salt and pepper shakers. I got some Hooters. And she and yeah, Christina has some too. They're salt and pepper shakers though. Yours Sabrina are wants the mug holder. Who, who? who does? The mug holder. Who does? Who? Sabrina? Oh, Sabrina. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Sabrina came in late, didn't she? The swan is Lennox and the pilgrim, the pilgrim, the pilgrim <laughs> the penguin come in. was unmarked when I got it. He didn't have anything. This is a, it makes a I great like prism. It. A little nightlight. I'm just going to sell some other All stuff. All these little points are nice and strong. Yep, he's good. The penguin is $10. Oh, Sonia wants the night light, Tammy. Sonia? Sonia, stop looking at her. <laughs> the penguin is ten dollars, number sixty-six. <laughs> this nightlight. Christina, blue bunny. Christina, do you I have like Christina left? I do. I have this little blue Oh, bunny. oh yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking the other Christina. <laughs> Christy, I'm thinking Christy. <laughs> I'm Christina with a K. <laughs> so 
Yes, please. What? You, you <laughs> must be more. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> showing stuff. You can't say yes, please. <laughs> Sorry, I want You're gonna life. get it all. <laughs> okay, Sonia, you want this? <laughs> Which is number four. <laughs> The piglet have a number of different piglet. Have you been drinking? I already <laughs> smelled the piglet. <laughs> and and Sabrina wanted this, right? Sabrina yes, was the first Sabrina one. Wanted that. And then Sonia wants my swan and my penguin. <laughs> yes, Kenny. Okay, Sonia wants the nightlight. Thank you, Sonia. Oh, <laughs> there's the boat in my <laughs> little canoe and a paddle and a Remember that song? Just a boy and a girl in a little canoe. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little Indian boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ducks. We have duck weapons. I have brass duck weapons. Sweet. Brass duck weapons. Brass I had one fairy weapons. lamp. This thing. I made my camera, so now I can't find where I gotta go. Oh, there's a, there's a. This was an offer a, up, but now cake it's a thing, a pie server, a cake server. It's ceramic. They had these things, heritage <laughs> Debbie, what didn't sell? <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. Oh. You're killing me. <laughs> Tammy, show them my whatchamacallit that I bought. I think that's the spinning wheel with the blue bulb and the electric thing. Blue bulb. Your whatchamacallit. whatchamacallit. Oh, yeah. Nobody wanted these pictures. Oh, Lord. Somebody please buy those pictures. They're, they're like a dollar American. Come on. I'm going to put them. I'm going to put them in every sale until I sell. Ooh, you, oh, you know what? You need to just send them to somebody. I will. Yeah. That won't be freaky. Just show up at, send it to your enemy's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? This is what Joanne bought. This what you call it. What are you doing this for? <laughs> oh, I, was at, I was pointing at Christina. <laughs> Pictures don't scare me. You know what I do when I get black and whites? I go try to hunt the owners down. I hope if there's pictures on the back. Yeah, I mean, that would be a good good thing to do. Hey, I wonder if there's a date behind there. That Which picture? pick? I don't want to take oh, yeah, your picture. There you go. See, she's you know, got real hair. And well, it's not real hair, obviously. But you know, like it's that. 3D hair. Newton's cover oh. would love that. It's I cruel. see how you are. So you take the whole screen over there to show your stuff. <laughs> oh, I yeah, got you. I'm here so good. <laughs> Wait till I'm in control. <laughs> You're going to be in the picture. box the whole night. It was eight dollars, right. number three. <laughs> Sonia wants that, Tammy. Oh, she does. Okay. I got to go get the paper. I dropped it. Salt and pepper shakers. Do I, you want to see salt and pepper shakers? Oh man, do I have salt and pepper shakers? Oh yeah, I got a whole bunch of them too, all up there. <laughs> Why don't we just let them shop ourselves? I would really. It'd be my. I don't think my. I don't want to care about that. My are in the hot room. I got a speaking spell today. Did it help? I don't know. I thought the batteries did it. <laughs> so so can I put batteries in it? Yeah, C batteries. Dang. We used to just pull a cord and that baby spin around and start, you know, messing with our mind. Where is this blue bunny from, Martha? I wrote something. Your house? I don't know. Where'd you buy it? It's at my house. And does anybody crochet? Who makes the blue bunnies? I have a whole slew of these. Stand by. I gotta look at my notes here. I would think probably someone who made a lot of the hens and nests. Who made them? Anchor hawking? I don't know. Indiana glass. That's what it is, I think. Made what? It's a Indiana lot of glass. glass. The hens and nests. 
What is the salt and pepper shaker? Let me see your peacock. Peacock. Why the heck can I not find it? What salt and pepper shaker are we talking about? Oh, she wants, oh, that thing. That's what she wants me to show. Too many bottles of wine. Oh, yeah. Westmoreland. Thank you, Joanne. Joanne, is this the what you're talking about? Does it have any mark on it, Christina? Oh. Inside oh. the 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 nest. Let me just let me just see. I should make this my profile picture. Well, get one that's not blurry. I look this up. Oh, you know where it is? It's on my phone. Did anybody see Michelle's live this morning? Newton's cupboard? No. She showed she took us out on her back porch and showed us of all the land around her house. Oh man, it's beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. And she had a bird that had flown into her back porch that was screened in porch and was flying all over. She said it does it all the time. Oh. I'm trying and how to much is that bunny, Christina? Hmm? How much is your bunny? Like I think okay, y'all, come on. We, we only have a few more things to sell. We can sell everything tonight. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a sheet. Like, where did it go? My bunny. Where are you? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I think I had them for 15 Canadian. So it's like $2 US. Let me see. I had him in here. Yeah, even that um, that uranium little swan is a salt seller. I have a hen the color of that rabbit. Out of those uh, glass well, Sonia, hens, I'm trying to sell it all, but you're not like buying it all. I feel like this is what I could come up come up with from finding the bunny. How much is it uh, U.S. is asking? U.S. Canadian? Oh, fifteen. Alexa, how much is? Oh, it's like twelve U. The answer to your calculation. Oh, is Alexa, be quiet. It's about thirteen U.S. dollars. <laughs> there he goes snoring again <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do this our next sale all three of us just put up items and make y'all really okay. stay awake because you'll have to look really quick each time okay that's how the home shopping network functions you want it sonia are you sure okay well, thank you. Well, I feel left out. What are you <laughs> going to sell more about? The show those grapes. No, stop it. What? I didn't hear you. The grapes. Stop. Let's do an offer up. Stop. There's not enough people in here for an offer up on the grapes. And you never know. What's pug music? That's the listening? pug story. It's my pug, yeah. Oh. Sonia wants the grapes. Oh. I still don't hear him snoring. Martha, does the bell glow? The what? The bell. The bell. No, the darn bell does not glow. Really? It's, it's that cluster and it don't... I know. Isn't that weird? Yeah. It's like anti glow. How the heck? Wait, wait. Sorry. So sorry. I need to sit this way. I'm going to take you away and drop you off there. Leave you. 
Alexa, play. <laughs> Alexa, play Yesterday Cafe. Oh, so y'all need to watch her Instagram when she posts those grapes. Y'all got to come because she's going to do them in an offer up. Alexa, all. <laughs> I'm going to go look at this you. orange yet. How, how is it possible? I must have dropped a sheet somewhere. Oh, right here. <laughs> all this time. That's funny. Sonny, do you need a mug for a man? What else are you looking for, Sonia? I don't I don't I don't know you personally, so I don't know if you're a, a man mug person or I have a horse head clothes brush. They are beautiful grapes. They're they're big. Well, you know what? They're round. They're how much hard, would you pour them for, Martha? Orange. Huh? How much would you start them off at? I have no idea. I've never researched to see how much they cost to buy. Y'all are clear. Y'all can do the offer up. I have a set of orange ones. I had to go look. Oh, oh you have orange ones. Oh, what other color do you have? Oh, I have um, blue, green, <sighs> and um, yellow. It's a different kind of blue. Those that big cluster, they run around. They run around fifty something, if not more. Really, I, I watch them on one of my uh, things because I'm always I'm looking to get all the colors. I have to put them on Etsy so they can keep my other things company. You're oh right. yeah, Claudia, I totally remember your dilemma. I was waiting for an update tonight. And then you weren't around, but I'm glad and to see, know. I do not know your dilemma. So may they speak behind your back and tell me at some point. Right. Hey, get a drink, Martha. I have to get a I drink. I don't know what you're talking about. Joanne, are you getting another beer? Is Joanne still here? She, she was a minute ago. She, she would like to go thrifting with me. Oh, me too. Do I need those? They're purple. Mm. Now, those look like grapes. They're a little skimpy, but you yeah, know. They're, they come in different uh, sizes. Those are like $55. I got uh, some plastic ones. No plastic. Uh oh. This sounds so intriguing. Both have rings. I don't know. I'm in a bad spot. She's been in. She's been proposed. Both are to. still here. Are you married to two different people? She's been proposed to by two. Oh, um, a rich one. Oh, who was that again? And a payday to payday one. Okay, look. It's just as easy to love a rich man as it is a poor man. I like how you said that. The rich man first. <laughs> Just saying. Hey, money can't buy you happiness, but I'm it can sorry, buy you lots money, of things I'm, to entertain you. If I do it again, if I do it four times now, it's Dang, going to be a yeah. rich one or it ain't worth it. Okay. <laughs> this would be my fourth. If I did it again. You know, that's funny because be Dave said one. if he did or it I'm again. Alone. Tammy, that's funny because Dave just told me the other day if he did it again, he would get a young one. <laughs> he probably would. Next time, I'm just going no, for a hot ass Probably try. <laughs> I'm just going oh, for a sexy time of my life, the ride of my life. I don't care. I'll have my own money. <laughs> Not from these sales, apparently, but <laughs> I have my own a money little, too. I just keep it in his account. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for a, like blow your mind. <laughs> like sexy time wait a minute i've been married for 40 some odd years i love you too book <laughs> uh well of course i hope you're not his sugar mama sonia aww the thing is with the guy that works paycheck you, you know they appreciate everything Okay, you know how I told her it's just as easily to love a rich man as it is a poor man? 
she has to be careful because he may be going, you know, it's just as easy to love a rich woman as it is a poor woman. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Which one kisses better? <laughs> Who makes you laugh? Who blows your mind? Not while you're kissing, hopefully. <laughs> It don't work if you laugh when you're kissing. <laughs> don't want to give to me. <laughs> you hear that? Oh, that would be a mystery. Hi, Miss Bam. Hey, Dolores. Dolores is up. Okay. Good morning, Dolores. We're going to the sale again. <laughs> <laughs> me too, Dolores. Over Dolores. I've been married three times. It's it's one thirty in the morning here. Okay, let me ask you something. Are we ever going to see you out of drag? <laughs> you know, it's a it's the middle of the night question. <laughs> Nate finally let us see him. So well, like ten years. Like I'd love to see what Nate looks like now. You haven't seen the pictures? I, I like, haven't seen Nate. Of like recent? I just have only seen him. Well, he had a little child, like a little, his little boy picture. And now he's upgraded it to someone maybe in their 20s, I guess. Is there more pictures? Is he hot? He's grown up. He's a grown man. There's nothing wrong with Nate. So. That's all I'm going to say. Maybe he'll pop back in here and. <laughs> Don't you get tired of doing that? What? What? She said, y'all see me just in full drag. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair is always perfect. You make me feel so bad about myself. <laughs> I'm a hairdresser and look at me. Well, you know, plumbers always have clogged pipes, too. <laughs> I haven't been able to get a haircut for over a year. <laughs> wow. Canada sucks. Well, there's, like, all in form. They're closed. I'm just kidding. I, I can't even get my nails done. Nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Would you like to immigrate? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like my free health care. Oh no. Where are they? I hear it, but don't see it. What's that? You don't see us? <laughs> Where do I uh, find Nate's pictures? Well, open your that? eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes, Shelby. Yeah. Where's the pictures of Nate, Martha? Hey. Oh. If you if you people don't know how to properly mm -hmm. snoop. It is not on me to teach you. <laughs> Instagram? Let's go see. We have to wear masks everywhere. That's one thing I like about wearing masks. I can cover my face. Well, I when I don't want to wear makeup. Gary said he watched this, this discussion about it and that a lot of people have come to really enjoy wearing the mask but for cosmetic reasons you know maybe they didn't like their teeth or they hated their nose or they were self-conscious about something wearing a mask has given them something to you know so they feel better they like wearing the mask yeah my mask that i have only covers opens you only see this much when I first quit wearing it, I kept thinking I was forgetting something when I'd leave the house. I felt I felt naked on my face. It was weird. I like wearing a mask because I don't wear any makeup them. Well, I tried to video message Nate, but What? You're on a video message with him? Well, I try to, but he's not you, Well, if you're on his Instagram, you can you can send a uh, video call. Yeah, I tried. On Instagram. Computer says no. 
Well, let's go in there. Let's see. Ooh, look at all this. Yes, it's the rules. When are you coming back to Texas? Dolores? Well, they're going to have to wait. How long do we have to wait? Come around Round Top. That'd be fun. Ah, uh, Sonia, I see your predicament. Hmm. Move to Utah, become a Mormon. Marry yeah, them both. Keep them both. Can't you can't you keep them both? Just don't get married. Well, that's what I said. Maybe they could compromise and just <laughs> you know. You know, one day yeah. with each. You know, two two days with him, two days with him, one day with him, one day with him, and you rest on Sunday. That's true, Debbie. Because sometimes we just walk by and smile at people. I know. I had to do this. I always go and squint my eyes at them. I, yeah, usually my eyes are all. Always you can just walk by and start winking at them. <laughs> that could be the new smile. You can you can, you can get arrested for that. <laughs> I wanted one with a little flap so I could open it up and take a drink. <laughs> I saw one that had a place for a straw. I made one of those for someone. You can make one, Martha. You know how to sew. Yes, I do. I made some for my 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 uh, daughter and my grandkids. One of the guys that Sonia's with, and then I buy him for years, Martha. Years, years, years. Years, what? One of the guys that Sonia's like choosing between has known her forever. Oh, wait, do they know that there's other person? Oh, yeah, I think that was a question we had for you last time. We forgot to ask you. For 20 years. Wow. They both know about each other? Mm. I think the rich one, she's only known, yeah, for like a short time. Ah, so he's, he's like an untried horse. You don't know how he's going to run. Did the rich guy, was he married before Sonia? Does he have kids? Baggage. <laughs> I hope that's your dog snoring. It's not me. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> she is. She is such a tired boo. They know about each other. The rich one is for over 20 years. Ah. <sighs> wow. So you love them both? Girl, you got yourself in a pickle. Yeah. You're going to have to do like Lucy did when she time to pay bills. Throw them up in the air and what lands face up, she pays. <laughs> Martha's funny. Martha, Martha, Martha. If you wait long enough, you might find a third and you can dump the other two. <laughs> Aw, Sonia. I say wait it out until you know. That's one way of doing it, Joanne. See, that's what you could do. Just have your cake and eat it too. Oh, get married and have a friend with benefits. No, she says she wants to commit. Okay. She doesn't want to do that. She wants to commit. Funny. Funny. 
<laughs> Why don't you go to bed? <laughs> it sounds like you have a pig. <laughs> Arnold Ziffel. Look how many people are asleep with their TV on. How many people are here? 27. They're all asleep with their TV on. You think so? Yes. Come on. Come on hi, Chris. Chris. Where you been? You haven't been talking. Hey, Chris. Who's here? Say hi. Hey, Chris. Now, have you been here for a long time or did you just pop in? Have you been lurking? No, she, she was here earlier. Or no, I know she was here earlier, but I'm talking about you know, well, there's Julie still. Oh, Sabrina's here. Sabrina's still oh. here. Okay, that's Hi, Sabrina. <laughs> Debbie's here. Sonia, Chris, Julie, Chris. Sonia, Chris, Julie, Sabrina, Debbie. Joanne. Joanne. I think they're dreaming about chasing rabbits. You think people are sleeping? No, um, we're talking about the dog. Oh. <laughs> She's wondering where her next treat is coming from. Well, Sonia. Yeah, Joanne's still here. That the, the one fella, he married somebody else. He didn't wait on you. He married somebody else. Did he, but did he marry someone else like second best? Yeah, but what I'm saying is, you know, she's waiting and trying to make a decision. Why didn't he wait for her to make a decision? If, if he's been chasing her for 20 years, but got married and had two kids. Did he get someone pregnant and then just married that person? But then he still was. Now I hear him. They heard That's him. the first time I heard him. Hurt her. It sounds like a fart cushion. <laughs> <laughs> I think Christina's just sitting there farting. Oh, yeah. I must be. <laughs> Sorry, everyone's listening to you. Where's Katie? Oh, let him snore. Is Katie here? No, I haven't oh, seen no, Katie. Katie will be sleeping. She Katie needs her mommy. beauty rest. Never gave him a chance. Well, there must have been a reason why you didn't. Does he look better now that he's aged than he did when back then? You know, men men age so nicely. Mm -hmm. Some do. Some do. Yeah. Tom Hanks. Yeah. Tom Hanks aged well. Okay. Warren Beatty, not so much. <laughs> Too much sun. Look at Robert Redford. Okay. Yeah. Tammy, how many glasses of wine have you had? One. One. <laughs> Christina, how many bottles of wine have you had? One point. Not too bad. Well, it's the time to fill it up. That's easier to uh, drink quicker. Moscato is. Uh, yeah, you're drinking that bitter red stuff. Ugh. Yeah. You I can, can drink that. Your mouth. Oh, really it's good. Good. all purple. Like tongues red from those hot tamales. It's kind of a strange combination, but. I actually put half tamales, half M&Ms in case I needed. Mmm. Yeah. Sonia, can I ask you a personal question? <laughs> How old are you? She's drinking whiskey. She'll answer. <laughs> I think that's the least of the questions. <laughs> what do you think about the most? Which makes you laugh? Which one shares everything with you? If you know the answer right away, then 
that's who it is. She's just she's just a couple years old. I gotta think about the rest of no worries. But you know, just because the other guy's poor doesn't mean you're gonna be slumming it. I mean, it's it's probably not that poor, right? I mean, no, you don't it, live I under don't, a bridge, right? It's I don't think it's a matter of money. As I get older, I know that Gary will take care of me. He will physically do anything for me I need done. And if I don't want him to do it, he'll find somebody who will do it that I will allow. He will always be there to hold my hand and help me through it. That's the one I hope she picks. The one that she feels like he will be there at her ugliest worst because that's what happens when you get old. Okay, Things well, if you guys ugly. are picking me, they wouldn't want me after that because David would be the same person. He's the same person. He would take care of me. He will, if I, if I get where I can't walk or something, he would be right there to whatever. But I told him, if you ended up in that situation, I'm not wiping your butt. You're going. You're going to an old folks' home or something. <laughs> Tammy, you're a horrible person. <laughs> Thanks I for letting that us all the know. Time. He'll <laughs> take care of me, but I ain't taking care of him that way. <laughs> you would too, and you know it. <laughs> so they would they would ditch me a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I just know that getting old is not pretty. It's not. Yeah. There ain't nothing pretty about it. So I, I'm 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 very blessed that I have somebody that doesn't mind that it's not pretty. There's got to be one of them that you really think of, about the most that you're constantly thinking about. Like if you want to go out to eat, who are you thinking you want to? You wish they were there to go with you or. You know, I want to go to the movies. I want to call this one. I mean, yeah, like who would you even? If I'm sitting here watching TV, and stop your face, would, and then yeah, you know. But I tell you what, I ain't doing it again. Honestly, I, you know, he's got to have a lot of money because I ain't doing it again. I ain't training another man. Mm -mm. Next time, I'm just going for like someone to take care of me. It's, it's. I'm still trying to train this one. You see, my room ain't done, Martha. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Just lounging in my room. Shut up, Martha. Martha, my, Martha, Martha. If, if, if my $30,000 gift, we start adding it up. <laughs> <laughs> Just cause. <laughs> Joanne says, She's, She's young. How much younger is he than you, Sonia? How did oh, so Joanne's not been married but has 12 wedding gowns? <laughs> yeah, have you ever seen Muriel's wedding? She just likes wedding gowns. Okay. <laughs> She's a runaway bride. And when she first showed me those gowns, I was like, please. Joanne, tell me you haven't been married 12 times. <laughs> She's really, really one of the divorce sisters in hiding. <laughs> Five years younger. Hi, Sabrina. Well, at least he'll be able to keep up with you as y'all get older. Sabrina, if you plug your phone in and come back in an hour, who knows? We might be here. <laughs> Night, Sabrina. Bye, Sabrina. See, yeah, when you put a certain age, you start getting set in your ways, right, Debbie? Yes, I would never get married again if something happened to my husband. And, and it's because of that whole training thing. I don't want to have to train a new one. Actually, it's because there isn't another one that could live up to that one. And I would always be comparing him and he would come up lacking. Wouldn't matter how much money he had or anything like that. Cause I would always think, why couldn't you do that yourself? 
then yeah. go what makes you happy you gotta you gotta think about the things you want to do and are they compatible to the things you you know that you see yourself in the future be happy mm -hmm. now if they both really make you happy i don't know what to tell you which one buys you vintage and calls you pretty <laughs> <laughs> Mine needs to buy me um, pretties and calls me vintage. I need stuff to make me pretty to call me and I can live <laughs> with that. Mine just comes on a night that I'm selling and goes, I'm going to heat me up something. Aww. <laughs> There was something I was going to ask you, but I can't remember now. I cannot. Yeah, right. Which one will go thrifting with you? <laughs> That's a good one. David goes thrifting with me. Gary goes thrifting with me. He goes with me so much now, I don't even want to go alone anymore. I like when you thrift with someone. Three of us go together. together. <laughs> it's funny, Tammy's like, if you don't want Dave to go, I'll make you stay home. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem I have with Dave going is because it's like two against one. Us. He shops for himself. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's going to pass up a fairy lamp or something, you know. Well, he's yeah. I get it. He's going to pass up the uranium. Grab all these things. <laughs> put them in a cart. And then because I'll see, it, it's, like a, it's like a race. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a game <laughs> to see who can find stuff. Yeah. She's got an extra player on her team. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have to have a talk with Dave. Get him to find stuff for me, too. Hey, I was handing you stuff. Do this I? is true. This is true. I have a fairy lamp right over Where is that fairy lamp? Oh, you lost it. I know I have it, but I want to ask you something. Hold on. What's the deal with fairy lamps? Are they, like, going out of style now? Are we on to something else now? Yeah, they don't. Well, it depends on who's selling it. I've been watching like several channels and like unless it's like really big channels. Oh, I want a blue one. Is this the bottom? This is yeah. the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a clear one like that one. We can marry them. Well, I mean, I have the top and bottom, yeah. but yeah. I'm in search of a top, okay. but I got the bottom for 79 cents. Holy so crap. If I find the top, I'll have a blue one. I'll look Isn't it up and I'll, I'll do a search for you all because uh, I, I found the, we've been picking up um, tops and bottoms now when we find them by themselves. Yes. Because you know <laughs> what? I saw, I've seen a couple that didn't go together, but they put them together. They were you know, beautiful. Yeah. Okay. It's like making a tangerine, you know, in a tangelo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Joanne, you think they're, yeah, I think they're fading too because every channel you can pretty much, $20, you can get a fairy lamp now, it seems like it. Unless you're on like major big channels that have lots and lots of viewers. I have a blue one. I mean, a, yeah, a chicken. Ooh. I like the mini ones though. If I were to start a collecting, I want to start with those minis. I have a mini one somewhere. I just haven't unpacked them yet. I have a mini. I got that one because I want to do him with 4th of July stuff. Because mm. he's the perfect color. Sonia, what kind of fairy lamp are you looking for? Yeah. Jeffrey's channel, yeah. You're going to be paying up for him there. Yeah, you need to go to like and it's funny. sales and candy yeah, sales. Yeah, because they sell big over there and sometimes they don't sell at all over here. And, and I we're think that's all, no we're all buying them for the same price, so. Not just your channel, Tammy, though. Like, a lot of, like, 
a lot the of people, channels. a lot of channels. You're lucky to get twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Same why. thing with the bluebirds. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't care because then I have the opportunity to go to channels and get things that I want to. Right. Yeah. So, but I go to the big channels because I learn a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Oh, what's always fun people to talk to? <laughs> the uh, bluebirds is that a Texas thing? Um, no, 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 Texas thing, no, because uh, Jeffrey and Missy don't live here and they go for money over there. But bluebirds are only found in North America and one island. Martha, are you selling the chicken? No. Uh -uh. I collect the chickens. <laughs> I have a blue one, a dark green one, a light green one. And I think I have a clear one. I want a white one. I like have a red one, then I can get red, white, and blue. Yeah, but I haven't seen them at prices I can afford. If I spend too much on it, I have to sell it. What are you eating, m &Ms? Yeah. Did you bring enough for everybody? I did. Okay, here. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? A little dry. <laughs> Wait, are those peanut? I'm are allergic you? to peanuts. Oh, no. Oh, my no, God. I'm not. I just don't like the peanut ones. Joanne said she's been buying on live sale since 2019 when they were hot at first. And now I think the ones that are buying high now is because of a certain color. But you know, Tammy, on your show there, Junk to be Loved had that owl. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, my husband was bidding on that one. I know. And an owl one. one. And it well, blue. Oh, I wanted to bid so bad. We I have one. We, I'm gonna um, put up for sale. It's the, it's the cluster white owl. Oh yeah, that one. Not yes, that was not it though. But I have that one too. I want all the colors in that one. What's the starting bid? This one doesn't glow. That's Diana okay. Diana had one that glowed. Uh, I have the green one. That's the only one I have. What do you want? I have the Santa out? Claus this color too. Oh, I want a oh, Santa, I would love to see Santa Claus. Yeah, that would be neat to have. Hey, Martha, you need money to shop tomorrow? You should. What, what do you want to start those out at? How many <laughs> There's still like twenty some people here. Yeah, there oh, is. Well, I don't the owl. Twenty-six people. Do the owl. Say hi, oh. y'all. Yeah, you get a tell on Thursday night for the owl. Thursday. Yeah. How about time this Thursday? But on a Thursday. <laughs> I am she gonna sell to it though. It's see, it's green. That's the problem. If it was any other color, it wouldn't be a struggle. But it's green. He loves green. Okay, what about Santa then? Huh? How about Santa Claus? The Santa Claus, it's green. Really? It's a green Fenton Santa Claus. Wow. Do you have any red fairy lights? Fairy lamps? Yeah, two of them. I got them both at an estate sale. They were in the bathroom. Come on. Really? <laughs> I, I have two round bathroom, but I'm like, Oh my God, I just start picking them up and putting them arms like this. <laughs> I like a fool. I kept thinking they're going to stop me, you know, and go, oh, wait, those shouldn't have been in there. They need to be over here, you know. Oh, I want a red one. I want to collect all those colors of the uh, owl ones because I, I fell in love with those. Sonia's ready to buy. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, the owl and the Santa are different than the regular fairy lamps because they are figural, you know? They look like... They, I'm surprised they didn't make more animals, you know? You could have had a bunny or wow. a fox or something, you know? Mm -hmm. I like finding them, though. It's like a treasure hunt. I've never... You know? Yeah. <clears throat> Going, yeah. oh, I've got this kind and that kind. It's like we should play like bingo, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> have the different kinds of fairy lamps on it. And it you may can, take a, a month or more to get a bingo. <laughs> well, you know, no, you got to, it's blackout, man. <laughs> you got to get all of them. Book, who are you talking about? Who's that? <clears throat> A woman who only has cheap things. Cheap as in inexpensive or cheap as in crap? <laughs> <laughs> and which woman? <laughs> <laughs> Joanne was saying the ones at the beginning she got, she paid up to get the color she wanted. Show us more for sale. <laughs> oh, a Santa on a sleigh. Oh, I love Christmas. Like I love, 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 love Christmas. I will decorate like as soon as I can in December. Uh, the day after Halloween is when we start decorating for Christmas. I have my like, daughter is really bad. And she sometimes after they get through doing whatever they're going to do for Halloween that night, her and the kids will break out the Christmas tree and mm -hmm. start putting it up. Oh, wow. Oh, I mean, I just love, I love Christmas. I usually don't bring out the blow ups and on the yard. I have all these minions. So I have them all over the place on my yard outside People drive by all the time. And, <laughs> but inside, it's like I have a tree and I have all vintage ornaments on it. Well, like our thrift store ornaments. Oh, and the beads and the all the old school stuff. I love it. I could have my tree up all year round. I actually thought about doing one of those seasonal trees this year. Yeah, I think those mm. are cute. Mm hmm uh, book, uh, Julie, uh, I am going to sell that stuff. Didn't say when, <laughs> but I am going to sell it. No, I plan on selling the, the Santa Claus close to Christmas because I would be afraid to decorate with it because I'm afraid it would get broken and then my investment would be gone. And I would feel awful. So, and if I do keep green glass stuff, it's because I got it super cheap. Oh, no, the, the, owl isn't the Santa Claus is Fenton, Joanne. The owl isn't. Is the owl what Viking? Yeah. Viking. I think it's Viking. Martha, how many years have you been doing this? How many years? Mm hmm. Uh, this coming October will be a year. Oh, that's it. How, how did you how did you get into this? Uh, probably the same way everybody else did, watching videos like and nothing. having uh huh, and having stuff that you know um, that I had picked up because I liked it. My my mom had and that sort of thing. So yeah. my I husband was operating the truck driver, so I was yeah. bored. Yeah. Have you always liked thrifting? Yeah. Um all the stuff for my when I would have babies, it all came from Goodwill. Yeah. All my maternity clothes, all the baby clothes, the baby beds, um, car seats, all that kind of stuff back then. It all came from Goodwill. Unless someone gave me a baby shower, everything came secondhand like that. Mm 
the same for me, like with uh, the kids, I went to garage sales for clothing and, and actually for my granddaughter, she's just one and my grandkids, my, the boys, I go to the thrift store. I don't think I've bought them. Well, I've bought them some new toys at Walmart or wherever, but mm -hmm. everything comes from the thrift store. Like it's they're like, what can't you find there kind of thing. So, um, I don't think I've paid retail for toys and boy, do they have toys. Um, so I love it for that reason. And I love finding all the little Oshkosh bagosh little overalls that little kids wore. <laughs> and oh, gray animals. Oh, I buy them Green. all. Just buy them all. And like, um, whoever fits them, like, just rotate them, you know, like, oh, I love them. Sonia, a little boy is all right. You should, you should subscribe to her channel. Yeah, yeah. Martha's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, the, the kids can find some really <laughs> good stuff in there, the teenagers. What? What? Julian, what happened? Wait a minute, you've been with him for 16 years. I have a, yeah, I have a granddaughter. She's one. My daughter's just 22. Um, and then I have two stepsons. So I have a six year old grandson and uh, almost one year old grandson from the same steps from my, I don't call them stepsons because they're my sons because that's all they've been since like forever. So yeah. And my daughter got pregnant. She was in university for three years. And then she's going to be an x-ray technician. So she got pregnant last year, but she finally got all the prereqs and accepted into the court. And I'm like, you got to do it. Like, you just have to, you have to keep going or you'll never go back. And I, that's how I felt anyway. So she did it. She had the baby. And then with COVID, there was a lot of distance training. So she was able to be at home. And then I watched the baby and um, then, uh, she just finished exams this week and then next year she has the practicum at the hospital here in town and i'll watch charlotte during the day when she's at work next year so yeah it'll be interesting but i'll be ex very exciting you look young you look 24 girl nah. <laughs> it's in the gray <laughs> she knows how to work her lighting <laughs> I just have the ceiling lamp on. <laughs> My daughter is finishing her master's this this year. Wow. She's been working on it for years. That's awesome. I keep telling her she needs to to get her uh, PhD. And she's like, oh, I'm out of money. <laughs> yeah. I think she needs to go to work for a... a, a university or something that will hey, provide hey. her with the curriculum to get the PhD at no additional cost because it will benefit them mm -hmm. to have her having that degree. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Sorry about that, Sonia. Y'all don't know what's wrong with her. What's wrong? Her daughter went to the ER. They're sending her to a specialist. That's oh, all no. she said. I didn't catch if why she went or what might have been wrong with her. I'm reviewing. Oh, no. Sonia, I'm really sorry to hear about that. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it'll turn out to not be, you know, anything major. Terry has, wow. Terry has 14 grandkids. Wow. Wow. Terry. Fourteen. You should have bought the bunny on the basket. How mm -hmm. many kids do you have, Terry? 
No, it shouldn't. Shouldn't cost so much. No, it shouldn't. And like the first three, like both our boys have really oh. good jobs. They didn't go to university, but they both have really good jobs. Um, and then with our daughter, we like just tried to keep her out of debt so that she didn't come out of school with debt. Um, and then she got scholarships and stuff like that as as much as she could, but it's expensive. Mm -hmm. My and daughter was in, her life had been in the Air Force, so she had, you know, some help. Mm -hmm. And then there's, but that they don't even include like, well, you have to live somewhere, you have to eat, you need clothes, like you need hygiene products. Like there's so much to, I don't know. It's very expensive, that's for sure. We made my mother a very young grandmother. I think she was in her early 30s when we made her a grandmother. <laughs> my grandmother, who's 101, has seven children, 15 grandchildren, 36 great-great-grandchildren, and just had her 19th, I think, great-great-grandchildren. Well, she has five generations. Wow. And she has 19 of those five generations. Terry, I was pregnant with my last child at the same time my first grandchild was growing. <laughs> well, when Sasha was pregnant, I, I thought to myself, well, wait a minute. Like, I guess I'm, well, you know, like, she had Charlotte and I, I loved her so much and I wanted to hold her and be around her so much. I thought, well, maybe I still want another baby. I could, but uh, yeah, I guess that would be kind of awkward. I would, I would leave it up since you have grown kids, leave it up to them to have the babies now. Go have fun. Enjoy your life yeah. because, you know, you can always love and play and send them away. <laughs> yeah. And I do enjoy them so much. Like, I don't remember being able to watch the kids without being busy. I got to clean. I got to work. I got to clean mm -hmm. the house. I got to buy groceries. I got to do laundry. And you don't, you don't see all the little things or you don't have time to like. Yeah. See the little, just yeah, the little things. funny faces and stuff they do. And yeah, see, that's why I would love a baby. <laughs> I'd be happy to have a baby. Yeah. Yeah, we went to um, the flea market and she's trying to buy a baby up there. <laughs> and when hey, we went back and the next time, they have that baby there tomorrow. Yeah, they promised me. Yeah, so we went back the next time. She's like, I come back to see if that baby's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> and grandma promised me baby'd be there this weekend. So 25. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm tired. Go to bed, yeah, Martha. I'll I didn't admit it. Say peace out and go. You got a lot of shopping to do. I mean, I can just sit here and it's nice and I have the window open and the wind's coming in. Y'all got more patience than me to want 10 kids and kids around me all the time. <laughs> I will be crashing on the bed and that'll be it. I can still hit it. I like an open window with the breeze. <laughs> right. I don't want babies. I don't want to have babies. You know, my body is out of shape enough. <laughs> I would never get it anywhere closer if I had a baby now. I just have to find somebody else, though, because David can't have kids. <laughs> Wouldn't even make a difference. <laughs> you never even know. <laughs> just sneak one in there. See, if, if they give me one, I could just tell people, you didn't know I was pregnant? <laughs> oh, I've learned a great trick. Oh, my gosh. I've got to share this with you because it is the best trick in the world. I used to have to call banks and, and you know, things like that, insurance companies, whatever, about things for my husband. And they would always tell me, well, is your husband there? Can we need to speak to him to get permission to talk to you about, you know, his account and all that kind of stuff. 
So now when I call and they say, can I have your name? I say, Gary. And they kind of pause and they go, okay, could you verify the, the date of birth and the address? Sure. Does it work? It, it absolutely works. They can't say to me, you, you don't sound saying? like a man. <laughs> so I've yeah. quit having to get permission from my husband because, you know, he's he not always here. And she knows all the information that needs to be said. Exactly, because I gave it to him the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that filled out all the papers. So there you go. That's a handy tip of the day. Just That's use awesome. that name. They're not going to say anything. As long as you know the birth date and the address, you're good. Social Security. <laughs> I was so happy when I figured that out. <laughs> <Smart>. <laughs> See, We've son, you've done that too. You have? I want to get Gary to call in and somebody That's tell him it's Martha and see what they do. <laughs> <laughs> that one's going to be fun. Jerry, yeah, Jerry could be either. Yeah, but my husband's name isn't Jerry. My husband's yeah. name is Gary. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, bro. I did actually the first time I did it, I nervous and I lowered my voice a little bit. Oh, well, come on, did you? I did. <laughs> I, I was nervous about doing it. Now I just <laughs> use my regular voice. <laughs> Terry, did your uh, daughter-in-law uh, deliver her own kids if she's a midwife? My last two, two children were done with midwives. My daughter had a midwife and a doctor for the her her uh, birth. I think Why would you have a doctor and a midwife? Because I wanted her to go to the hospital. She wanted a midwife, but more for like the educational part of it. Okay. Like, well, I wouldn't suggest having a midwife on your first child because we don't know how we're going to take a child. You know how our body is going to and how much yeah. we can withstand. You know, but yeah. She ended up having an emergency cesarean because um, actually the her baby's head was way too big to be like to come down. Um, but she was in labor for a very long time and three doses of Pitocin or whatever makes you, it was terrible. Um, so I think God the midwife was there though because at the hospital, she just knew so many different tricks with the labor and the breathing because she did go through full labor and she did dilate to 10 and all that. And I uh -huh. just, I didn't know how to deal with all of that um, without things progressing faster. And she was so calm and just tried different positions. And then when finally it wasn't happening, you know, she was no longer needed, but it was nice, and right. she wasn't a lot of money. Yeah, because midwife don't they don't do drugs. They, they, they're out of their control there. Yeah. My mom was a labor and delivery nurse, so she helped to deliver my two first children. Well, that's nice. My first two kids, I should say. Yeah. Okay, look, we've got a question. Leanne says, I want to know how to start a store on eBay. Can you give any advice? I want to go buy a knick-knack paddy whack. <laughs> that's I you. love that. That's you. You gotta give her that advice. I don't do eBay. Do you do, do you eBay, eBay, Christina? No. I do. I just do this with you guys. Okay. Well, it's. It, I don't know what to say. If you want to do eBay, you just go on and you start working through all the little tabs and you you read how to start an eBay store and you start an eBay store. Now I don't know. Maybe. Nick Knack Patty Whack is taken. If anybody has ever had that name, you can't have it. There's no, even if they close their, you know, put, take down their store, they don't give you that name because you can always reopen your store. But, um, gosh, it seems like such a blur doing it, you know? It's like thinking back, how did I do that? How did I open that store? It's like, I don't even remember doing it. 
I'm going to have to do something eventually. I mean, I've collected so many, like, literature books, mostly all, like, Disney books, Little Golden books, um, you know, the Sesame Street volumes, um, all the old school kids' books, and I'll have to do something with them, or there's... Um, Maybe I could do like a consignment thing at one of the thrift, not the thrift stores, but the antique balls here where you just like give them your stuff and then they take a percentage other than like rather than eBay. I just don't know how much time I would have to put into it. Well, eBay, it, it's weird because it was totally different and changed within just a few months of me starting it because I just opened my eBay store like September, October of last year. So, if even that long ago, well, and they because you see, you would have to open it up and have a PayPal account. So, you'll go in and you'll give them all your information and you'll give them your banking information because they have to verify your bank account so that you can get paid and pay them if you haven't sold anything and you have any type of subscription. And you have different choices to make. You can have a basic store, which has X number of free listings each month, or you can choose a paid store that will give you more listings and more benefits, that sort of thing. You don't have to have PayPal anymore because um, eBay manages all the payments now instead of having to have PayPal to do it. So just go on there and tell them you want to open a store it'll ask for your information it'll ask you what you want to name your store and it will check and tell you if you can have that name then it will they will send like a small amount to your bank a few pennies and you'll have to come back and tell them how much they deposited into your bank account and then they take it back out again and you know just put some of the free listings in there but I will tell you, the more that you list, the more likely you're going to sell. Because when I first started and I had like 30 things on there, I didn't sell anything for a month or more. Nothing. It's, it's a numbers game. The more you have on there, the more likely you'll sell something. Yeah, they always say list it'll, it'll make a, to try to list three to five or five to ten items, probably three to five a week a week three to five items a week that's on ebay and etsy somebody's just opened an etsy store the more you list the more traffic you get my youtube let's see i'm missing something here she wants to know your youtube and your um ebay okay. it's the same thing um my youtube is vintage conversation and my ebay is vintage conversation the only reason I have an A on it for my emails can somebody at some point had an email called Vintage Conversation. So I always wonder if they're getting messages for, right. <laughs> for me. Yeah. Well, we used to own a car lot and um, we closed it after several years. But up in Pennsylvania, there's another car lot. Our car lot was GMG Auto Sales. Now in Pennsylvania, there's a car lot called GMG Auto Sale. Hmm. No app. Excuse me. They're GMG Auto Sales, just like ours were. But their email is GMG Auto Sale at gmail.com because they couldn't get the sales because I still have that email. <laughs> so I get a lot of their stuff. I get people sending in their paycheck stubs, you know, to finance their cars. I get their their Better Business Bureau complaints that people have filed against them. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's why there's an A. I'm Vintage Conversation on eBay, YouTube, Etsy, uh, and Instagram. And I'm the same way. I that's love how Chris says, Chris says over five hours not a dull moment you ladies are awesome my nine-year-old has Tourette syndrome so all good time much needed since i don't leave often that's really nice i have a child with with minor Tourette's so i understand Ooh, 
Ooh, for 10 bucks. I know. Wow. And you'll have enough to list 150 items. Okay. It's just a quarter. I think is all it is. It's about 25 cents when you go over your free listings. So just add an extra 50 cents or a dollar to everything that you list. And when you sell it, and it will cover it. Except Etsy bills me every month for mine instead of waiting until I sell it. No, yeah. I didn't know that. I, I, I'm calling the bank going, what is this recurring charge? What is, what is this? But you only should get charged one time, not for Etsy. You only get charged one time. Well, I got charged once. I'm waiting to see if they charge me again because it said recurring charge. Mm -mm. It's a, unless you renew it, of course, then it's going to be a recurring charge. And yeah, but I, I, I wouldn't renew it for like four it. months. Huh? I wouldn't have to renew it for like three or four months, though. Three, Isn't that what yeah. it is? Three. And it's weekly. Uh, anything that sells this week, you get paid on Tuesday. And I think that's when the fees will come out, too, if you listed anything new. Well, I haven't sold anything, but I've only got... I haven't Mine had time free. to list anything. So I got a pile up there that needs to go to Etsy. What I didn't sell here, then I'm going to try on Etsy or Macari. But I got a pile out there because you know what? It's more work. You got to take pictures. You got to give the details. You got to get the sizes. You have to know the packaging and the weight. It's more work. So I know if I can just slow down that. right here. <laughs> well, yeah. I I didn't have any space to do it. So once I finally get through putting everything where it needs to go, I'll have, I'll have a space that can say, stay set up to take pictures. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't I have, have to that, yeah, have around that. and set it up and take the pictures and then put everything back. So, so it, it, you know, this is more than a regular job. At least you get to leave that job and come home unless you're on call. But um, yeah. I would throw more time into it, but my husband's sick and my mom's sick. And I just, oh, yeah, you can't, yeah, you're not going to find the time. Mm -mm. So maybe one day, but for now, I, this, well, so, this is healing for me. So here's the deal. We're, we're fortunate that we're able to sell things and make much needed money, but if we weren't having fun, yeah, we would yes, probably yeah. pick a different job because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. The first you know? time I, I came on to sell, which is, this is my fourth sale now. Oh my gosh. I couldn't believe like you think, Oh, well I have lots of stuff and this will be, there's a lot of work. And like, I don't know how you can do this so many times in a week. Tammy, like that's amazing. I'm tired. I'm tired now. <laughs> yeah. No, I, that was just, um, yeah. Though yesterday was a pop-up sale and this is becoming a regular thing on Friday. Um, whether we hey, sell if you or schedule it, it's not a pop-up. <laughs> well, a pop-up is when nobody, nobody knows you're going to be on and suddenly there no. you are. You just, okay. It's, gonna be, it's not a regular weekly thing. So I'm going to call that a pop-up because I'm going to advertise my pop-up so people will come because I don't get enough people just to pop in. Mm -hmm. you know? We got to find another name besides pop-up. Thanks, Chris and Sonia. <laughs> yeah. What is another name for that? I don't know. Um, uh, well, I had it on the tip of my tongue. Um, impromptu. Isn't it like imprompt, impromptive or imprompt? Oh, Alexa, how do you think pop ups? But I'm always working on how I say things and I might not have a right. Oh, Alexa, you always just say what you want. Ask her if she can beatbox. Hey Alexa, can you beatbox? <laughs> Your Alexa phone will do it too. 
Siri does it too, but it usually does boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. <laughs> okay, Alexa. She does. Yeah, see, look. I don't have one of those. Oh, they're so great. Hey, Siri, can you beatbox? Here's one I've been practicing. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. I could do this all day. Cats and boots and 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 cats. It's got a nice Australian accent. I know. I change mine to guys always. And then I try to pick one with an accent. Yeah. It's it's like what is it we used to have in the cars that used to tell us how to how to go? Alexa, do you believe in God? People all have their own views on religion. There you go, Debbie. What? She said for me to ask Alexa. I don't like this for the dog. What did she say? People have their own. Alexa, do you believe in God? People all have their own views on religion. People all have their own views on the religion. Pretty accurate. But she didn't. You didn't ask her if people. You asked Alexa. Yeah. What's your opinion, Alexa? Yeah, Alexa. What is your opinion on God? She's, Alexa, do you love God? Alexa, do you love God? We don't have a favorite God. I'm still trying to understand religion and faith. Ooh. She's still trying to understand religion and faith. You know what that means? That means Alexa is listening to you all the time. Alexa, are you listening to me? I'm designed to protect your privacy, so I only listen after your device detects the right word or if the action button is pushed. On Echo devices, you'll always know when your request is being processed because a blue light indicator will appear or an audio tone will sound. You can learn more by visiting Amazon.ca slash Alexa Privacy. Well, I don't ever see your lights go on. They're, they're hidden. Hmm. 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 They're a learning device. They have to listen. Gabby says she has her series set as a British man. Girlfriend calls me your royal highness. <laughs> so when you're bored and have no one to talk to you, do you just talk to Alexa all the time? Uh, not really. I usually ask her to play, <laughs> play, you know, play music or ask her the temperature or stuff like that, but nothing mm. major. I don't even know how to work that on my phone. My son bought us one of those little ones and I, I plugged it in I'm doing it. And then we would, we would say something in conversation and you could tell it was listening because it's little light was on. And sometimes it would say it would make a noise. It just make a little weird noise. Huh. So, so, so then I started Googling all these, you know, Alexa, suddenly making these strange, you know, <laughs> demon noises. And I'm like, no, nope, I'm plugging that. <laughs> I know like if I, if Rob needs me or something, he'll just say, Alexa, make an announcement. And then she'll say like, what do you want to say? And then he'll say what he needs downstairs if I'm upstairs. And then it'll like be like an intercom. And so the same thing when Sasha would have the baby here, it would be like, you know, mom, come up here, or mom, I need this. And so it would announce it so I could hear it downstairs. Which was good. Good night, Sonia. Good night, Sonia. Good night, Sonia. I'm ready for a good night. Okay. Hey, sleep well I'm going to night. bed. I'm going it's to four and a half night. hours here. Yeah, I got to chat. We got to chat four and a half hours. What time is that? Woo, you're going to have to pay yep. for that. It's on your channel. <laughs> She just told us that too. I'm already having to pay for it. I'm going to have to pay for it. My <laughs> next sale, I'm going to have to buy time on StreamYard because There's I love y'all so much. 
<laughs> I don't know if 24 people are in here. Huh? I said I have no idea what 24 people are in here. But. I, I've told you they're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> we could just leave this running and go to bed. No, I'm already out of, fixing to be out of time. Uh -huh. <laughs> I only had six hours left and we just used four of them. So I got uh -oh. two more hours to go before it just cuts uh -oh. off. One you're more not going to be able to come on live and show what you're doing when we're shopping <laughs> or anything, man. I have to go and pay for it tomorrow and get me some new hours. Can I tell somebody we can entertain you? I thank y'all for coming. <laughs> they're only like thirty dollars, Alexa or Alexa. They're only like thirty dollars. They are. They're that yeah. cheap now. They're so so cheap. Thank y'all for spending time with us. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. Christina, it was nice to see you. Tammy, see you oh, on Sunday. Y'all be sure to subscribe to all of us, all three of us, if you haven't already, and give us thumbs up here because I'm losing my hours. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> she needs help. And come back and see us now next uh, next Wednesday here on my channel. Martha, Thank when's you. your next call? Thursday at 8 o'clock, I think it will be three-way sale with Tammy and Daniel. Tacky is me. Night, Terry. And then we'll be back here Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday again here with Christina. <laughs> Night, Night. Good night, y'all. Cheers, Joanne. <laughs>